me yoink my coffee. Let me move my microphone over here. Lower the audio just a teeny tiny bit. So we can actually hear each other. Hello, team. Y'all are quick, man. I have to admit, like the YouTube stream, everybody is like instantly here. Like, hello, woken up. I'm at work. Yo, what up? Let's play some Dragonfly Beta, shall we? Hoo-ha! Just like that. Oh. He was gone. I had to turn on a light. Hello. Time across the pond. It is currently free in the afternoon on my side. Ooh, on a beautiful, beautiful Saturday where I woke up a little bit early. I have done my kickboxing. I have moved my weights as I'm going to sell my weights. Anybody want to buy some weights? I got some plates. You can use it for deadlifts. You can use it for bench press. You can use it for barbell squats. You can buy him now. Buy him now! I'll throw in a free bench. Yeah. Howdy, everybody. Happy Saturday. Will the expansion be worth playing? I certainly hope so. But, um... Time's gonna tell. From the, from the beginning, all I can tell you is there's definitely a foundation for a really good game. Um... But I do believe it's very much going to depend on how are they going to uh, build upon that foundation. Um, because they, it's, it's gonna matter, like, what, what uh, content are they adding at Endgame. It's gonna matter what, like, what kind of stuff are we gonna be doing. Um, and that very much is a wait and see kind of thing, right? Um, for me personally, all I can tell you is, uh, from what I've seen so far, I'm curious enough to level up new characters. I want to play these beautiful dragons. And beyond that, we will see. And, um, if it's gonna be a, um... There's going to be a situation I actually want to wait for the patches or want to wait for more content. That's perfectly fine. There are a million different games to play out there. And uh, we're going to see. But for today, our object for today is uh, we are going to dive into the Drakfir, Drakfir starting territory. Uh, we're going to be checking out how the starting zone looks. We're going to be checking out the story they're given. As well as some of the voice files. Because I do believe that the roars and the sillies and all that, um, they've been added. So starting off. We got customization. And uh, you can pick either Alliance or the Hordes. Uh, you will have to pick at the beginning. And um, then you can dive into customization. We got body type 1, body type 2. And under the customization, I will admit, uh, there is a fair bit of customization that can be done. Right? And I'm especially a big fan of the eyes. You will see a lot of dragons from the past who also got like these dragon eyes. Uh, I don't want to dive too much into uh, the customization, but you could definitely make the Drakfir your own. Uh, I have heard the feedback from people on uh, why can't I make mine bigger, like beefy, rather than, you know, the slender Drakfir that we got. Uh, but so far, nothing has been done with that uh, feedback. Ooh, that bronze one, that was mine. I let it slip away. Again, I let it slip away. Um, also, fun bit is that, as you can see right now, I'm browsing the customization of the Drakfir form. Uh, which is what you're gonna be like most of the time, uh, as you're combating and as you're dealing damage and as you're fighting a play through the game. Um, and then here we got the visage, and the visage is separate from the dragon itself. Which, as you can see, um, we can customize the visage to our heart's content, and it has no correlation with the dragon form behind you. Which is kind of awesome. And of course, the details, uh, they are quite out of this world. I do recall that um, like if you look at the graphics, at least in my humble opinion, if we look at the graphics, I think that the face is extremely detailed and looks really cool, right? But then you got like the armor that looks painted on underneath, and I'm like, hmm, pixels. But I don't think there's a, a clear-cut solution for that. Horde or Alliance, team? Where do you want to start today? Horde or Alliance? Does it matter? Not really. Let's do Horde, because I've done, like, double experience on the Alliance. Let's go. Um, here we go. Customize. I want something bronze. Can we do something bronze? Ooh. That looks like one of those toys I had when a kid. When I was a kid, you know? I want to... Oh, never mind. I'll take this one. I'll take the Spawn of Satan. Um, I will call it Lamb. That name is taken. No plan? 
Yay! In honor of Cult of the Lambs. Wow, it used to look cool, gritty, ugly. Now it's a bad picture film. Looks like furry and dragon fetishism to me. I mean, <laughs> yes. That is, I mean, that is exactly what's happening here, SC. You know, Blizzard knew that amongst his audience, especially you yourself, there are a lot of people that, like, are really into furries and dragons. And so they decided... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so they decided to add it to the game in order to um, in order to apply to our kings. That's for sure. I know that uh, I'm looking very much forward to how the internet's gonna take this. <laughs> All right, let's dive into the game, shall we? Howdy, everybody! Greetings, greetings, greetings! Happy Saturday. The correct term is scalies. Oh shit, we scalies now. Ah. Uh, wait, what? Uh. Did I do something wrong? I think I picked the wrong zone. Because I kind of missed out on the whole, um, gonna go back in a moment and we're gonna see what's up. Um, master volume to max. Yeah, maybe I did have fun. I thought I was on a leveling realm. Like I'm level 60. There's definitely some leveling to be done. All right, S -s 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 team. I'm gonna turn off the water because otherwise I'm gonna have to pee. I'm going to turn on a little bit of music. There we go. Uh-huh. All right. I picked the wrong server, did I? Ah, probably. Behold. Wait. Oh. Wait, what? With you and me together... The sky's the limit. So I'm guessing wrong bar? Or maybe just flirts? No, actually the wrong bar. Where did you put that? Let's ask a bronze dragon to turn back time so I can fall for you all over again. Oh yeah! Encoding overloading. Oh dear. It's too much happening at the same time, man. Come on, my little PC. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, how about here? Is this better? I hope you can all see me, by the way. Uh, come on, CPU. Calm the heck down. There you go. Is it hot in here? Or is it just the immense plume of fire coming out of my mouth? When I see you, I lose all my fire resistance. Oof. I look good from scale to tail. Oof. Careful. My kiss can melt your heart. Literally. You bring the dungeon, and I'll bring the dragon. Uh... <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm down. Let's go. Scalies, huh? With you and me together, the sky's the limit. Oh, boo! When I see you, I lose all my fire resistance. I heard that one. I look good from scale to tail. One time, I sneezed inside a cheese shop. That's how I discovered my love for fondue. <laughs> Can you believe there was a dragon living in Stormwind and nobody realized it? You'd think the smell of sulfur would have given her away. You, do you think we could tell the joke to Enduin? And be like, ha, 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 your mom's dead now. My favorite place is the library. You could say I'm a real bookworm. Get it? Worm. Oh, 
Oh, that hurt me in my soul. A bronze dragon is never late, nor are they early. They arrive right, precisely when they mean to. to. They say dragons can grow up to 50 feet, but I've never met one with more than four. I hate that one. <laughs> I heard that one on the internet. I hate it. I love it. I hate it and I love it. Is it hot in here? Or is it just the immense plume of fire coming out of my mouth? A bronze dragon is never late, nor okay. are they early. They arrive precisely when they mean to. You too, random hero. So this is something that I heard people uh, complain about. Like they would rather have a bestial dragon roar. Rather than... That. Hi, right, everybody. I mean, the jokes are always cheesy in WoW. The flirt lines are always cheesy in WoW. They, they're always, you know, they're always that way. Um, try in dragon form. Uh, let's see here. Visage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rar, that means I love you in dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ow, don't laugh too much. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is. Um... Mm, I definitely agree on the roar parts. Ah. That definitely uh, <laughs> could use some work. What else we got? Um, Fight as one. All right, deep enough. I am, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we strike. Okay. Um, do you do this? You don't do that. Do you do this? For the horde. For the horde. For the horde. <laughs> okay, that's evil. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, JJ. Those dragon jokes don't bring back anything. <laughs> Chugga 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 choo choo! So does it change? Chugga 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 uh. woo woo! Whoop whoop! Chugga 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 woo woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's definitely a base that they add to the whole uh, drug free thing. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the flirts and the jokes are the ones that I'm most interested in. And, you know, they're cheesy. But then again, at the same time, my human paladin still still makes a joke about farting in the tub and making loud noises. So, <laughs> the jokes and the flirts have always been cheesy. Let's be fair. So, in that, in that regard, they are quite on point. And I'm... Uh, I'm okay with it. But that roar... That roar needs to change, in my humble opinion. That roar definitely needs to change. Uh, let's see. Dare you to design a Spyro-themed... Hang on, I need to pick the right realm, because I'm pretty sure that was the leveling realm, but it's okay. Um, create character, Dragonflight, level up. Oh, I think I clicked on the wrong one. I think... Or do it? Did I? All right. Okay. We'll click on Dragonflight character. You know, the leveling kinds, and then customization. Spyro, you say? Um. Honestly, cannot remember from the top of my head what Spyro might look like. But if we turn this into purple, 
Ta-da! Not Spyro. That name is taken. Of course it is. Epa, I am well happy to hear that. Hello there. Yeah, see, this one starts with value strength as well. I think what I need to do is make one with the regular create button. We'll see. We will see. Uh... What well, class, in my opinion, is the best for Dragonflight? Um, okay, so here, here's the deal with like uh, the best class and whatnot. Uh, while I understand that people want to know, like, what am I supposed to roll into the next expansion? There is no answer for that. Um, the numbers are still being tuned. Like, just the other day, paladins have apparently been nerfed into the ground. Yay! Red paladins go down! And apparently our consecration now does the most damage even on single target. Um, those numbers are going to go up and down. And they're also going to go up and down uh, once it goes live. So there is no real way of telling you, like, this is going to be the greatest class, this is going to be the, uh, the worst class. My recommendation would be to just play what you find the most fun. Um, and, and the flavor of the months and the fine-tuning, it will happen anyways. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty safe to say that Drakfir is gonna be overpowered. Um, and then maybe the Demon Hunter and the Death Knight, because they've been pretty overpowered for the last few expansions. Um, but ultimately, the numbers, we're gonna find out. Void Drakfir, like the uncorrupted Void Wing. I'm curious what you could do. Victorian, I will do my very best. I am looking at an encoding overload, though. Did my graphics get that much higher? I don't think I did. Um, It's a bit of a problem. Camera FOV, raid graphics quality. Let's put it down a little bit. Okay. Um... Like, uh, the same with um, when I when I logged in, all of a sudden, my internet was not pushing out. So there were there were some weird things happening. It's okay. Um, okay. What do you mean, Free Jam? What is up with the YouTube videos? Um, I got a big one. My camera lagged a bit. Hmm. Maybe it's my camera. Uh -huh. I am looking at uh, trying to sync the audio to uh, my voice, by the way. Like, my camera lagging with my voice is okay for now. I still need to sort it out at some point. Uh, what do I want to say? Um, YouTube videos. Oh, coming Monday, we're actually going to do a beefy one. And for the foreseeable future, we're going to do some beefy videos on a Monday. Um, what I want to do in preparation for Dragonflight is I want to give a general overview as to this is what happens to all the different Dragonflights. So we're starting off with the Black Dragonflights, which is going to be like 30 minutes of delicious goodness in which highlights we're going to be talking about a Deathwing, Repion, Nelfarian, Onyxia, Sinestra, Ebonhorn, Sibelian, all the good stuff. We're going to be talking about what happened to the Black Dragonflight from, from the start to finish to where we are right now, all the preparation for Dragonflight. And I want to do the same for the blue, for the red, for the bronze, and the greens. Uh, so those are going to be the Monday videos. Then I want to drop some uh, Dragonfly beta videos. Uh, for example, what we're doing right now with the Duck Fear starting experience, I want to do an upload on that. Uh, I've gone over the Dragonflying. I want to do a highlight of that. Um, I still have a couple of short videos going on as well. And then um, we're slowly but surely going to roll into Dragonflight release, where we're going to be talking about the zones and the stories and all the good stuff. Yeah. None that I have for you, TNT. None that I have. Okay. What do you call a Drakthir who can juggle? Talented. <sighs> I never really have a plan. I prefer to wing it. <sighs> yes, Southford. Uh, we'll be talking about him during the bronze one. Think your morning breath is bad? Mine sets things on fire. I showed my tail to one of those wolf people, but they just looked sad and walked away. I wonder why. Again, this is something that I saw fly by on the internet. Like, for the longest time, people have wanted Warg and Tails as customization. <laughs> and Blizzard is like, well, fuck you, we're gonna make a joke out of it. <laughs> the Drakthir are excellent musicians. We really know our scales. <sighs> I get bored easily. The day really seems to drag on. 
<laughs> what do dragons and onions have in common? They, have they both have layers. Get it? Layers. You can't steal Shrek's joke. What? Heritage. I never really have a plan. I prefer to wing it. Howdy, everybody. I still wonder what message revoke means, but still. Hello, everyone. You must be an updraft, because you make my heart sore. Cold-blooded? Not a chance. How about I warm things up for you? What's my type? Tall, scaly, and brooding, of course. Do you believe in love at first flight? Or should I fly by another time? I want to be the wind beneath your wings. Of course. You must be tired, because you've been flying through my mind all day. Get him, Nightbot! Yoink him out of here! Those claws look heavy. How about you let me hold one? What's my type? Okay. Tall, scaly, and brooding, of course. I mean, ultimately, um, if the jokes hurt me, then they're good jokes, because they're dad jokes. The flirts, they didn't do a whole lot for me. Um, but that's all right. Let's go. And let's see what the roar looks like. Do the roar! <laughs> Attack for the horde. For the horde. At least there's a bit of passion for the horde on this one. Must not be implemented yet. You say that. But I don't know. I don't all the other things are implemented. Why wouldn't this? <laughs> okay. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, choo choo. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, choo choo. I mean, that's definitely bringing a party. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, woo woo. Woo woo. Chugga 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 woo woo! Chugga 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 choo choo! Alright, they kind of sound like the Worgans. Yes, they do. Um, well, one of the things that people pointed out is if we do, if we look at this, right? <laughs> so that's clearly a human roaring, right? That's not a dragon roar, that's a human roaring. Uh, whereas people have pointed out that if you have, like, a Pandaren... I don't care. You are a Pandaren. The Pandaren go like... They have a panda roar, or a bear roar, right? So, and then I believe the Worgen have one as well. To which people are like, well, if you can give it to the Worgen and you can give it to the Pandoran, why the heck you can't you give it to, um, give it to the dragons? Give it a dragon roar. Yeah.
Uh, Nybot is on the prowl, by the way. Holy snap. The Pandaren sounds more dangerous than the dragon. Yes. And then we have uh, this one. Yeah, Nightbot is a little bit feisty on... Um I mean, that's bad as well. But at least it sounds more animalistic. Although, it sounds like an elephant. It's like an elephant stuck in a trap somewhere. Okay. Uh, I imagine so, Jan, but um, I can't check out the male one, because before you have the whole Worgen roar, you have to go through like the whole Worgen starting area. <laughs> Thank you, Buzzdeku. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, the mustache, the mustache would be uh, too itchy for me, but the fluff is coming in. Ooh, Amethyst, thank you so much. What is my favorite alliance race as lore? I'm gonna cheat. Oh no, that's easy. Magar. Oh, the Magar have like such potential for future storytelling. You know how awesome it would be to see like a light infused Garrosh Hellscream? Oh, I actually, you are correct. Um, but it's okay. We're gonna make um, we're gonna make a, a Drakvir. Hmm. Which, uh, hopefully, we're actually going to be able to make a leveling one. And you wanted it to be void, huh? Let's see how we if we can actually make something void. Because they don't really have the purple thing going on. They don't. Um, did we do alliance? No, we did hordes. I'm just a little bit worried that the drug fear are grayed out. So what I'm wondering is it because I already have an evoker. Let me try. Uh, create new character. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. That makes sense. On the horde. Customize. Can we make something in the direction of the void? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's actually rather sick. Oh, yeah. Definitely spiky corruption. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Nah. Yeah, yeah, I could make a level 60 and skip it, but honestly, I don't care enough to check out the roar. I really don't. Point, point was more like they could do, they could do, they could do, they could do more with it. Snout is barbed, definitely. Face pattern smoldering. Ooh, we can make it scorched. Very nice. Face markings. See, if you actually pay a little bit of attention to what you can do, you can actually make some uh, some stuff happening. <gasps> you can make cross eyes! Yo! Oh, then you are. Hello there. Or just full blown. I like cross more in there. So oh, that is cool. Ears. Yo! Brow. Definitely. Cheek, more. Throat. Ooh. Look at that. This is, uh, well, good. Yeah. Uh, and 100% Kaleshka, 100%. Like today is uh, early. Early look at, uh, we could check out, like, okay, this is what's going on with them. Uh, but even today, we're not going to get the full idea because certain cutscenes are just not implemented. 
Um, or maybe they are by now. I mean, we're going to find out. Do I want a cloth? Nah. I have nothing to be ashamed of. Except for my ankles. I am very conscious about my ankles. Okay? Uh, definitely. Yep. Club for the tail. Tail rich. Hell yeah. Let's go. Meow. Uh, yeah, you can put on armor's carrot customization. Downside is you don't really get to see the armor in the game. Although the new pieces you can. I believe the, the older pieces don't show up on the dragon model. Uh, the older pieces do show up, of course, on your main character. Um, don't quote me on that, though. Howdy, JJ. Um, do you feel like the later expansion just so random and unrelated to each other? And does that affect the game for you? Um, no. I don't. Uh, I do feel like the later expansions are no longer built upon Warcraft 3. Therefore, they might seem a little bit random. But they build up and they have connection to each other. Now, of course, we all know the failure of the Shadowlands and by connection battle for Azeroth. That is definitely seen. But in between, we've also seen a Mr. Pandaria in which they basically took a jokey troll race, uh, an Easter egg from Warcraft 3, and they built culture and worlds and civilizations and storytelling out of their asses out of it. Mr. Pandaria was mwah. If we look at Legion, how much more they've added to the world with artifacts, with... Uh, the, the Order Halls with the entire storyline that went down in there. Um, in my opinion, those expansions were great. So... No, I, I wouldn't say that that um, affects the game for me. Like, we could dive into how Shadowlands and Battle for Azeroth have performed, obviously. Uh, we could dive into um, the change of guard with a medicine that is left, and then the one that took over from medicine is left, and then the infiltration of Activision, and the writing team is different, and yada yada yada. Um, but that is, like, for me, ultimately, I've, I've discussed those things to death, and I'm not going to be discussing any more Shadowlands. It's over, you know? It's over. It's time for Dragonflight. And um, we'll see. We'll see what uh, the future is going to bring, right? Void Nop. Hoo-ha! Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. I have made as uh, much Void character as I can. I actually quite like this design, I have to admit. Actually, spending a bit of time on how you want to make your character is... Um, mm. And I have read Day of the Dragon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam, bam. Look at my tail. Ooh, it's knobby. Mm -mm. It looks like an informant of the void, right? Let's go. Okay. Um, welcome. Okay. Calm down. What the heck? Uh, options. Right. We need, first of all, audio. Uh, effects need to go way down. And music. You don't have music, so that's okay. Dialogue is there at 100%. And... Overall master volume can drop down to 75%. Um, loop music, we don't want error speech. General, we got cinematics. Quest text contract, oh cool. Uh, and we'll see as we play the game how that's gonna go. Then we have edit mode, for those who haven't seen it yet, here we have the new UI. Um, as you can see, I already have some pre-mades when it comes to other characters, uh, but I'm just going to go with a regular old classic preset, which puts my label on the top left. Uh, my buttons down here, we have Living Flame, Azure Strike. Um, and then we have Wing Buffet and Tail Swipe, which aren't overly exciting. Uh, if I do edit mode 1, will you automatically give my keybinds back? Doesn't look like you do. Uh, so let's not go with that. 
What I do want to do is quick keybinds. Oh. Switch. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll just run like this. This is fine. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, team? Are you ready? Is my accent Irish or Scottish? My accent is very Dutch. Ik, uh, ik ben zo Nederlands als maar kunnen zijn. Uh, maar over de jaren... Uh, ja, je pakt wat accentjes op, hè. Ja, hè. Ja, hè. Alright, welcome to the Drakveer starting experience. Awaken Drakveer. Only flashes of memory remain. As you shake off what feels like an endless sleep. The Drakveer before you is unresponsive, frozen in place by some unknown magic. You sense that within you lies the power to break your ally free. There may be others within the crash who are suspended in the stasis. It is your duty to awaken them. Dark Talons, where the enemies of the Earth Order threat, the Dark Talons shall harrow their skies, crush their will, and topple their leaders. Deny our enemies solace in walls and borders. For every Talon in our ranks, you shall strike down ten of our foes from behind. This Wern, currently under the authority of skill commander Cinder Thresh, Shall train to be the elite force. They shall be feared by all enemies of the Black Dragonflight. So we are a special fighting force. Um, so far, for what I've seen testing-wise, it reminds me a lot of the Legion Demon Hunter starting experience. But you'll see as we go along. Let me also adjust this real quick. There we go. Whoa! What? Evoker! Hello. What has happened? Who did this to us? Something is very wrong here. We must find our wingmates. This way. Okay. Uh, empowered spells do not mean higher damage. Oh. The trap fear are breaking free. Contain them. Lapisagos, a blue dragon, is trying to contain us. Uh, as you could just tell, very much similar to the demon hunters, we do have a glide, which we can use. A lot of the direct fear is based around movements, which is kind of cool. Here we have uh, a friendly other player. Talon Katon. These bones are brittle from long decay of time. Have they been here for decades? Centuries? It's impossible to know. A faint hint lingers of the arcane magic that held Kafal in stasis. You feel a pang of loss. He was your friend. Aww. In the arms of an angel. Mm -hmm -hmm. But we can save uh, Tetalush. Tetalush, hello there. Obeying an order. We're not gonna save them over there, no? Okay. In here, Evoker. The whole place crumbling down. Uh, how long were we held in stasis? A very long time, by the look of our crash. Right. Here we have a lot of, another little notepad. The Obsidian Warders. This worm is charged with defending the allies of the Black Dragonflight and protecting its strongholds. Whether it's deployed to reinforce Draconic Legions or guard the skies alongside dragons, this worm is the embodiment of the Earth Warders' Aegis. Currently under the authority of Skill Commander Azuratel, the Warder shall train to be the woolwark that enemy forces will break upon. So we were forces created by the Earth Warder, aka Nelfarian, or as most of you know him as Deathwing. Hello. But we're being held in stasis. <sighs> My head. All right. We need to get our bearings. They all have gruffy voices. The dragon people can only become invokers, at least for the launch of dragon flights. And the invokers come in two variations, either your DPS uh, DPSer or you're the healer. We are the shield of the track here. Azuratel listens to your reports. 
My memories are as broken as yours, but we cannot dwell on it now. We need to assess and make a plan. We learn disintegrate. To track fear, we'll find a place in this world. Hostiles have invaded. Our people have been confined in magical stasis, and our crash seems to be collapsing. This is why we train. When in doubt, you fall back to what you know. First things first, though. Weapons, armor supplies. Get what you can find and get equipped while our martial forces. They will locate the Earth Order. Surely Nelfarian can provide the answers that we seek. Fair skies and strong winds to you. Let us begin. Those constructs were thrown to crash. They're not animated by the Earth Order's magic. They narrow their eyes. We cannot allow there to be enemies in our midst. Destroy them. Fair Fair skies and strong conquer. winds, friend. Then we rendezvous with the Earth Warder. Neltharion can explain what has happened. I am certain of it. Okay, mm well... I mean, who if wants to If they will not sleep, then they must be destroyed. Who wants to tell them? Petition for Noble to be a voice actor in WoW. Yes. Oh, God, what did I get? Is this the open... Oh, it's a crystal focus, right. I agree. I could be, like, uh, a really annoying lore walker. And I could walk behind people and go, like, um, actually... Edict, the Earth Order. My Drakfir, know that you exist at my behest. Your relentless training, a through relentless training even, you will be honed into the finest soldiers in Azeroth. I, Nelfari and the Earth Order, empowered by the Titan Kaskarov, to serve as guardian of the deep places, created you to act as an instrument of my will. While the Dragonkin are sturdy and loyal, they lack the cleverness and adaptability needed to fight the war that is sure to come against those who defy the reign of the Aspects. You shall embody the might of all five Dragonflights, instilled with the potential of the mortal races that have begun to spread across our world. Through service, you will find glory. Never yield, never surrender. Edict Wurns. All Dragfear shall be assigned to a Wurn that best matches their skills. Each Wurn is focused on mastering a particular aspect of warfare. You've got attackers, defenders, healers, tacticians, and infiltrators. Together, these units will form the ultimate army. Every Wurn shall be under the authority of a skill commander, a Dragfear chosen and groomed for the position by the Earth Order himself. Members of a Wurn will become known as Close as Clutchmates. It is a bond that shall never be broken, forged of a duty and honor in service to dragon kind. And we find a blue magic wand, empowered with the blue magic for 10 minutes. Dealing damage, chance to blast the uh, uh, arcane damage. Okay. Huh. Like Lord Walker Cho when he comes out of nowhere. Yes, like the, the cat car hat from Legion. That would be me. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the books with the preferred paladin? Oh my. Oh my. Let me know how the uh, audio levels are, by the way. I think we are okay. I think you should be able to hear me now as I'm still playing the game and, and doing the things, I think. Audio is good. Excellent. Uh, we can kill this. Hello. Oh, Arsdenot greeted me. Oh, sorry, Arsdenot. I missed you. Oh, no. There's more of them. Opa. Game sounds seem a bit loud. I can fix. Um, audio. Effects at 10%, perhaps. Maybe that will be better. Okay, that's just contract constructs. Okay. So, uh, for a bit of background the story... The are relics of a forgotten past. They have no place in Azeroth. Our uh, Deathwing made these forces, right? Um, he is Nelfari and the Earth Warder. And we know him as Deathwing. We know him as the Betrayer. We know him as the dragon that tried to destroy us all with the Cataclysm. But these Drakfir do not. Um, they've been here for a very, very long time. They'll explain later how long. I won't spoil it here, but it's a very long time. And they don't know about the whole madness of Deathwing. They don't know how much the world has changed. They just woke up and they're like, 
I don't know what happens. All they know is that their crash is under attack. Madness around them. Uh, units are fighting. And uh, there is a, what the heck happens. Their weapons are destroyed. Their rations are gone. Like even the um, magics placed upon them to keep it from decaying have gone. Um, yeah, that's basically where we are. So slowly but surely, we're going to be finding out more and more. Now, we as the player, of course, we know about the history with Nelvarian. We know what they don't. Um, but they'll get there. I'm sure they will. You feel the same when you have to work the next day, yeah? Oof. What happened? Last I knew, there was like this weird-ass black dragon that told me I was going to be a fighting force and the defenders of the world. Next thing Looking I know... For wares? I need to go to work. What the heck? I think something must have hit me on head while I was in stasis. I could really use a trip to the preservers. Need something exchanged? There's still have a bunch of stuff from a stash that apparently was hanging on to. Um, nah. Could use the repair. Shosh, I am. Thank you for browsing. Any new discoveries? Those constructs were animated with blue dragonfly magic. The Earth Order would never have allowed Remain this. Remain steadfast. Respect must be earned. Stay true to your wearing. This gear is ancient, and the food has turned to dust. It makes no sense. Those rations, they should have lasted a lifetime. Well, we'll make do with what we have, I suppose. And we're gonna get a staff. Uh, currently, we are... Well, not butt naked. I guess we have some gear on, but we have no weapon. The obsidian warders stand proud. <laughs> My staff just upgraded itself to epic quality. Sick. Let's go. Let's go. Your scales are needed, Evoker. The crash is crumbling and we have few supplies. We must reach the passage out, but we have to get past this arcane barrier. In the chamber beyond, there are drugs for your need of aid. Tend their wounds. Destroy any foe who stands in your way. This may be the last time that we walk these halls together. Make it count. The drug fear will find a place in this Cinder Thresh, can you bring down this barrier? Zuri! Just the reinforcements I needed! Have you found the Earth Warder? No. He is not in this chamber. But there is a... Dragon! A different dragon. <laughs> he has a dragon roar. Come forth, loyal servants of Malagos! Show no mercy to these aberrations! Well, this should be fun. Cool. Yeah, I do think that the sound effects are a little bit loud, but my bars are absolutely low, so it, it has to do something with the global uh, audio, which I can't really What fix. do you remember, Zuri? Before the stasis? Only fragments. Let us a share battle against of battle. a great foe. We claimed victory, I think. Though I fear we paid a terrible price for it. We will find answers. But first, we need to get our people out of here. By wing or by talon, we will see it done. Okie dokie. No idea what's going on, nor anyone's name or who they are. Um, yeah. Um, like these characters that we're meeting right now with the drug fair, they're new. Um, the whole lore of Nelfarian making his own personal army, that's new. This whole war that they're talking about is new. The Dragon Isles, it's all new kind of stuff. But, at the same time, they are making it fit inside of the blank space that they got. So they're not really... <laughs> they're not really retconning. They're just adding more to what, what we've known. Um, which I find exciting, to be honest. Like, I find it, it fun to be diving into new stuff and to be um, learning, like, Oh, this was happening on the Dragon Isles. These are the new characters. These are the new things that we're dealing with. Uh, at the same time, there's also a lot of similarities when it comes to the main storyline. It's basically going back to how it was before they sacrificed the powers at the end of the Cataclysm. Um, but yeah, we'll find out. Gossip, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna let it wild grow till the end of the year. To stasis with you! And then we will see. So yeah, what we can tell so far from our little starting experience is that for some reason the Blue Dragonflight doesn't want to let us out. Um, we seem to have some weird-ass vague memories of fighting in a war. Like I said, the Drakfir are new characters, so we have no clue what this war might have been about. Uh, but that's their memories. And now the Blues are desperately trying to keep them in. 
The we do dragon know. is going to collapse our only way out. Now, once upon a time, before the whole madness of Deathwing, Nelfarian and Melagos, they were as close as brothers. So... What is your report? That might have something to do with it. Stay true to your way. Ding! We have learned return. We can bring a dead party member back to life. Oh, yeah. You call that a uniform? The blue dragon will collapse to crash and trap us inside. He claims to serve Malagos. That name is familiar, but why would any dragon want to keep us a prisoner? Listen, we were trained to fight besides the dragons, not against them. But we've been left with no choice. It's time to do what must be done. You have your time. orders. We were trained to defend dragons, not to fight them. This feels wrong. The Pizagos has left us no choice, Suri. He means to destroy us. So today, we fight for each other. For all Drakthir. Well said, my friend. Hey, Gossip, you remember this part? <laughs> um, do we need to make a Drakthir to get the main storyline for Dragonfly? Do the other class get this quest line? Um... Other classes don't get this quest line. This is Drakfir only. Um, but you will be introduced to the Drakfir. I don't you know. Yeah, I defy the will of Malagos. I don't know if that's gonna be the pre-event. I imagine, but I don't know. Um, and we will see cutscenes. Like there is one cutscene that's currently not implemented. That cutscene will be made. I have spent ages guarding you aberrations. That cutscene will be made available for everybody. Um, and through that cutscene, you will learn more about the Drakfir, about Nelfarian, about what the heck is going on here. So everybody will be made familiar with that. And then we're all going to the Dragon Isles. Together. And we're going to go into the main storyline that slowly but surely discovers. You are out of time. Slowly but surely explains itself and, Go! and dives the deeper. crash is collapsing. Our oh. training grounds are completely overgrown. We must have been in stasis for a very, very long time. Cut the chatter, Kodethi. Hostas could be lurking. Oh Evoker, time to get those skills sharpened. Yup. High enough. I am. Hello. We are on the YouTubes as well. We're on Twitch, we're on the YouTubes, we're on all over the internet. I even got a TikTok if they allow me to upload at some point. We are bound by We're duty. everywhere! Fair skies a spa. and strong winds too. We you. will get that rubble clear to make sure no drug fears left behind. But first, we need to secure this area. Let's get back to training. You are an evoker, the best of the best. An elite soldier who has mastered the skills of each of our worms. I expect a lot of you. Your memories may be broken, but the might of the dragons, they course through your veins, and you need to harness it. One of your most potent weapons is your breath attack. The fire within becomes more powerful the longer you inhale. These insects swarming will make fine targets. Anything for an ally. When is this coming out? Uh, end of next month. Although I don't know if the drug fear starting experience is going to be sooner. I do not know. I don't know what they what have in mind report? for even. The beacon ahead. I'm certain it was not there before we were in prison. Spellcraft is not my forte, but I know that arcane magic when I see it. The same magic used by the blue dragons in the crash. He said a name. Melagos. It sounds so familiar, but the Earth Order's teachings feel distant. Fragmented. If this Melagos put us into stasis, perhaps this arcane beacon was placed on his orders. Investigate the area and report back. Ensure the beacon cannot be used to call an enemy reinforcements. The obsidian the beacon pulses with magic. It may have been placed there to contain us, or to send a signal. Have you read that they're going to be part of the pre-event? Which makes a lot of sense. Um, then they should be available at the end of this month. That's the rumor when the pre-event's going to launch. Howdy, Rose. Hello there. <laughs> uh, flashback, does it take place during Wrath of the Lich King when Melagos was alive? I'm uh, imagining that it takes place a lot s l earlier than that. Like before Deathwing went crazy and before the whole madness and whatnot. I would really appreciate it if my CPU would just keep up with me. There we go. Thank you.
Um, oh, right. You want me to uh, do all the different... Okay. So what you can actually do, like this is a new thing that they added with the drag fear and, and drag of flight in general. Um, they've added such a way that if you hold down the button, the longer you hold it down, the longer you're casting, uh, the bigger or stronger the attack should be. But if you go into like your accessibility settings, which I'll do after this quest line, you can just make it again uh, a click and cast kind of thing. You don't actually have to hold it, uh, which is quite nice. So you could do like one, two. Aha. Oh. Um, so if I go into options and I go into accessibility, uh, press and top for empowered spell input. There you go. Does damage is quicker the longer you hold it. All right. Well, there you go. Cutscene. Woo! Um, so we saw two dragons flying in the sky right there. Um, we know that uh, Refion has been looking for Dragon Isles for quite a while. And with him comes Abyssian? Abyssian? Yeah. Uh, Ebonhorn. The one that we learned from in High Mountain. Um, they've been chilling in like the Chamber of the Heart, Battle for Azeroth. We've taken care of Nazoth and whatnot. Um, they're coming over. Abyssian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, if you see it in the chat, don't go to an adult dating site, yeah? Nightbot will take care of him. Look, Nightbot is on the job. Just don't go to any... I am ready. What do They're you need? They're not waiting for you right nearby. They're really not. You remember your training. Keep your head low and your lungs full. Let's get back to training. Let's get back to training. We are bound by duty. Don't do it, Shubba Wub. Don't do it. Azuratel listens intently as you tell him what you witnessed. So, uh... There were beacons placed outside the other crashes as well, huh? Our allies are in peril. We must reach them. What if there's a chance? Don't do it, Kral. Don't the do it. Fear. We the have incoming Hembethal. Thank the Earth Warder. Her wisdom is needed. Oh, snap, it's Emberfall. What do you have to report? I am heartened to see that so many escaped the war crash. My own worn were not as fortunate. They stand in silence for a moment. There are crashes throughout the reach, filled with drag fear and peril. Strong winds will be needed to reach them. Focus. Remember your training. Get a feel for the wind again. You must regain your strength and fly to the other crashes. The time for rest is over. Serve with it honor. is good to see you, Emberthal. But where is your wear? I awakened. The rest of my Drakthir did not. May their names be ever remembered. May their names be ever remembered. What is death may never die. Okay, um, the characters that I have right now is using a staff as its uh, weapon type. Uh, do we still have weapon skills? Can I show you that? Axes, daggers, fist weapons, maces, staffs, staves, and swords. Yep. Uh, also, they give me Soar. Soar is um, very much like the dragon riding, uh, except we can do it ourselves, which is kind of cool. Uh, hello. The Drakthea, stand ready. Whee! Diplomacy first. Highway to the danger zone. Hello. The odds favor us. I learned about the soaring. Easy way, know how. Um, feels wrong to ride a dragon as a dragon. Can we actually ride the dragons as the dragons? Oh. Any new discoveries? 
Cool. Remain steadfast. Yeah, I know search forward, but I there we go. Have I tried Overwatch 2? I have not. The Drakthea, stand ready. And if I have, it's years ago. Diplomacy first. All right. Jumping through hoops is helpful to get your bearings, but we train like we fight relentlessly. Go ahead and try sorting around the area until you feel you've mastered the technique. Of course, you must be mindful of the local wildlife and keep an eye out for any potential threats. That is why we practice after all. Report back to Emperfall when you feel you're Fair ready. Skies Fair skies and strong skies winds, and strong winds Evoker. Sure. Let's go with that. If you use riding ability where you pull up, you'll rise obscenely high. Ooh. Cool. Like, I like the dragon riding. I don't want to practice sore. Do I need to practice sore more? I don't want to practice sore. There we go. So, you happy now? I am ready to serve. Time runs short and a storm approaches. Fair skies and strong winds. Your vision from the arcane beacon showed that there are drug fear trapped within the crashes. We cannot afford to lose any more of our people. The healing wings are the finest medics in our ranks. Their crash lies within the calder of the menders. They know the way, leave no one behind. Stay true. Dervishian, scout the crash of the ebon scales. Syndra Thresh and the Evoker will seek the healing wings. Fly with caution, my friends. Dragons are watching. Okie dokie. I, all I can say from um, trying out the dragon riding so far is that it's very intuitive and it's just a lot of fun to do it. I have run across one quest um, in which I ran out of energy and the quest required me, 100% required me to go <sighs> to the upper levels. Neltharion would have our hides if he saw this mess. And there was no other way for me to get to those upper levels besides, you know, just waiting for my energy to come back again. Um, that was annoying as hell, but... There was no way around it. It was also my uniform. part. Like, if I had done the quest line properly, I would have been able to soar from, like, platform to platform, but I didn't, so... You yeah, know. Uh, Viridia leads the healing wings. If she's lost, I do not know what I... what to do without her. The healing wings need us. Get moving! Okay. I mean, I was already on the move until I started talking to you. Just... Pointing it out, you know. We have wounded. Uh oh. I am ready. What Look at all these need? wounded. There are more menders inside, and we need to help them. Anything man. for an ally. Whatever toxin has infested this crash is potent enough to take down our best healers, and that does not bode well for either one of us. No matter. Drag fear trapped inside. We're going in, regardless of the risk. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Follow me. You have your Viridia. own. Viridia! Viridia! Are you here? Oh god, there's gas everywhere. Gas masks. Get your gas masks here. Excuse me, Commander. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna judge our tactics here. But there's a gigantic dragon corpse in the entry hall. Is this really the best course of action, Commander? All right, I'm dead. Uh, uh, uh. Easy there, Syndra. Easy. The... <coughs> I... Um, we went in after you. Shh, 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 shh. I know. You are as brave and foolish as ever. I mean, there's definitely personality in that voice acting. Huh. How can I help? Good, you're awake. We need an evoker skills right now. That is me. I'm here to help. Take care of yourself. You recover quickly, which is good. Those who escape my crash are healing, but others remain trapped inside. Rush in to save them, and I will just have to drag you out again. There are beetle nests scattered around the caldera. Their toxic glands might provide a way to counter the effects of their poison. I'm in no shape to collect it myself. I must rely upon your I skills. have patience to see. Here to spar. The wild surroundings this crash are home to the Scythids. They are ferocious insectoids, often territorial and aggressive. All these wounds would be easy prey for those beasts. I do not want them attacking our menders while they recover. Call the numbers while I look after Viridia. She is very hot. 
cupcake, and also very brave. Let's get back to You should lie down, Viridia. You need to rest. Nonsense. I <coughs> am perfectly fine. Just hurry back with those toxin glands, Evoker. <laughs> oh, just had a little bit of a rough Saturday night, all right? A perfectly fine. <laughs> Not the silicon. No, no, no. There's like a different, uh, different kind of bug race going on here. Oh, is that actually how it works? Like, the more likes we get, we get higher on the algorithm? Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Let's-a go. I just wish my uh, OBS would stop telling me that my encoder is overrunning. Like, I'm not even recording right now, and it's like, yo, it's it's having a hard time. Here are the Scythids. They're like a combination of Nerubian and... Oh, God, what were they called? Not the Akir, the... Kluxi, oh, that's the one. Which kind of makes their own, so, you know. Even their sound effects are kluxy. I'm killing it, I'm killing it, look at me go. Whee. There you go. Happy now. Ah, they're cool enough. Oh yeah, I learned Super Breath, didn't I? There you go. Uh, do I prefer Classic or Retail? Um, like, if I definitely had to make a choice, I would go with Retail. As during the Classic days, I already played them through. For me, Classic Classic, uh, I had to put myself like a little task, like getting uh, Rock de Lair in order to play through it. Uh, Burning Crusade did not pull me at all. Because even back in the day, Burner Crusade did not pull me at all. I was like, mm, what is happening here? I'm, I'm exchanging my epics for greens. Ew. Uh, but now, Wrath the Lich King Classic is out. And the other day, I worked on uh, the story of Wrath the Lich King Classic. And in that synopsis, looking back at how chock full of content all those zones are, and just what's happening there, I am definitely interested in playing through it again. Um... Now, I'm not interested in Endgame, because I already saw a couple of screenshots from friends of mine who are playing, where you see, like, optimized groups running dungeons and looking for tanks, 100k gold an hour. And all that min-maxing, I don't care. But I wouldn't mind reliving uh, those older zones just on my own pace, right? Like, it will never be, they will never be able to create a time machine, unfortunately. I'll never again go back in time and make my paladin for the first time off the Lich King and, and run those dungeons with my friends and actually meet Fury for the first time and, and stuff like that. That kind of stuff is just... They can't bring that back, right? Would be nice if they could, but they can't bring that back. But just for the zones, I wouldn't mind going through Hello. Oh my god, I need help! I'm Tono! And I was exploring, because that is what I'm good at, but I did not realize that my sister Ko followed me, and I need you to help me find her, because she's in trouble. She went into this cave, but she's not as good as hiding as I am. And her parents are too far away to help. Can you find her? Uh, okay, bye. Uh, I'm gonna hide behind you, but don't let them also see me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Would I say the movement feels similar to Demon Hunters? 100%. Minus the whole uh, blitzing forward, which the Demon Hunters have. You're a mob baby having a blast off the Lich King? Hell yeah. I mean, yeah, if you've never experienced it before, it's one hell of a chance. One hell of an opportunity. For me... I was there, Gandalf. I was there. Where were you? I don't know if I actually need to kill you or not, but that's okay. And no, I haven't tried a healing spec. Nah, nah, nah. Healing has never been and will never be my thing in World of Warcraft. Got pre-ray bis and now I'm kind of over it. Yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not looking for um, I'm not looking for the end game kind of deal. Like it might be cool to step back into Uruar and and do like the, the the riding thing again or the grand tournament with the horses. It would be cool to re-experience that kind of stuff. But I don't want to do it in a way of optimization. I don't want to um, run dungeons as I've seen so many streamers. Like I've been browsing the category. 
And they're like, oh yeah, if I if I run this dungeon, I will have my complete biz list done. And I'm like, I just, I just don't care about getting biz list again. But that's me, right? That's my personal uh, take on Classic. And I'm just happy to see so many people actually having fun with it. As well as on Blizzard's end, my word did they go ham with the promotion of Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Like yesterday they released, uh, what was it, Dragon Flame? Through the Fire and the Flames, like uh, a Wrath of the Lich King song on the YouTube. And just the promotion in general has been sick. Awesome, Robert. Yeah, for me, it's just, uh... Oh. Healing will just never be my forte. Never be my thing. Little Ko, come on out. Mama says my test will be bigger than a mammoth. Huh. Uh, come with me. Wanna fly kites later? No. I'm okay. Toxic lands collected. Have I just not been looting y'all for your toxic lands? Oh, no. Blizzard has a good streak going at the moment. The Overwatch Kiriko cinematic is also blast. Excellent. How is Overwatch 2, though? Is my question. To uh, kind of step away from what we're doing right now and just um, <laughs> talk about something else. But um, I remember that with Overwatch 2, there was talk about adding of a season pass in order to get classes again. But then... Only for certain classes, like, what's happening? It's Overwatch 1. Oh, okay. And howdy, Lazy Raichu. Hello there, by the way. Yeah, unfortunately, they changed the rare mob icon to a golden star. It's not the same. I would like them to go back to how it used to be. Excuse me, Zura? What? Want me to, uh... Want me to show you one of my talents? I have a wicked Kermit the Frog impression. Or Mickey Mouse. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello. Is, is that what you're asking? How's the new eye? Does it feel any different? Nope. But it looks sexy as hell. Um, like, I'm, I'm a big fan of the new UI. Oh. I have no talents. Sorry. I can't, I can't show you talents. You don't have them yet. No, I'm quite happy with the new UI. It's very customizable. Like, there's definitely still a lot of work to be done when it comes to the customization. Uh, but there's little edits, like, um... When you're rested area, there's, like, a little Z next to your portrait. Or in combat, there's, like, little swords. Um, it just, for me, it looks it looks a fair bit better. And, um... You can still go back to the regular classic one. Or you can, um... Customize it to a more modern preset, where you have, like, the frames in the lower middle of your screen. Like, I'm still used to having them in the top left corner. But that's me. And it's very, like I said, it's very customizable. Now, I have heard people ask, like, can you, um, can you, like, change the size of the minimap? Which, as far as I know, you cannot. Um, so stuff like that, they could definitely still improve upon. But, you know, work in process. Thank you, Suda. Hey, I don't want to die, though. You remember you have a self heal, but not needed. There we go. And uh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean the beard is easy. The beard is just not not shaving it, and then it automatically comes in. For those who've been asking, by the way, why streaming on YouTube and not on the Twitch? Uh, I stream on both. Um But I like to um, have options, which is why I've also started streaming on YouTube. Uh, uh, we're doing some Warcraft content here. Um because that's like, a lot of people know my channel for the Warcraft stuff, so that's what we're doing here. And on the Twitch, I'll stream other stuff to come in between. Although, last time, we also did some uh, WoW gameplay. And I actually really enjoyed just chilling, going to all the raids, trying to get some mounts going. I actually had a lot of fun. My little moose. I was so worried. A stranger here? You found my little ones. Farewell, then, friend. Level 60, let's go. My people will never forget the kindness that you show my family today. Songs will be sung in your courage. We came to this isle because we saw a great beam of light shining up into the sky. The legends warned us to avoid these shores, but curiosity got the best of us. We did not know that this place was home to anyone, though I've never seen your likes before. I hope your people are mine. 
could become friends. Come, settle down for a spell. We have learned uh, reduce the cooldown of major movement abilities and fewer of the aspects. Five minute cooldown. Increase your haste by 30. May your okay. steps be sure and your catch secure. Uh, escape, options, action bars. I would very much like an action bar number two, please. Thank you kindly. Then we're going to be putting this on action bar number two. So this is just a general buff, 60 minutes. We're going to keep that in. Then on edit mode, which I find rather cool, is you can turn on quick key by mode, which I quite like. So now you no longer uh, have to go into uh, the whole, you know, system of... Come on. System of escape keybinds look up what button correlates to what thing now you just have instantly a keybind and now if i press f i have fury of the aspects haste increased by 30 percent talents i know but no uh the the feature's not available i imagine that we're gonna get talents once we're done with the um with the starting zone watch you more than 160p really dragon n oh like, I'm hoping that the quality of the stream is okay. I really, really do. So, yeah, a lot of the drug fear is based around movement, which is kind of cool. This buff, this um, major movement abilities, um, this is party or raid wide. Um, so, I'm going to assume that at the very least, the first raid, if not more of them, um, there are going to be a lot of fights where movement is going to be key. As you get the drug fear further in you actually learn abilities like um float on the battlefield as you cast your spells or you can pick up your teammates and drop them somewhere else on the battlefield which is actually really cool uh, and can be used for more than just um trolling other people uh so yeah movement speed definitely you call that a uniform the Cyphids were always formidable, but it seems during our stasis they've grown ever larger and more threatening. We learn a waste. Well, you have your orders. Let's have a look at you. And we got some toxic Stay glands. Well. I will work on something to counter the toxin and get you back into the crash. I hope for your quick return. The toxicity in the crash nearly claimed us all while the antidote is being prepared. I need to seek out the wounded and heal them. Yes. Even the blue draconid. The healing wings do not stand idly by while others Look suffer. out for each healing other. Healing the draconid? After they tried to subdue us? There is strength in mercy, Syndra. Yeah. We're healing everybody today. I offer you my aid. This world May you find what you seek. Wondrous. There is much to be done. There is much to be done. So what I have right now is uh, click to move turn on, which is great, but May you as I need to heal them right now and I need to target them, I need to stop myself from moving. Interesting. Howdy, Matthew. 115 AM in Australia. Damn. Okay. Oh, I'm actually healing them one by one, which is absolutely not what you're supposed to do. No, no, no. We got ourselves a little flower. you. Which I just used on the wrong peeps. No, 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 no. This, uh, the music that we're listening to right now is a playlist on the beta. Um, music is usually added late I or will at the end duty. of the cycle. Like, usually music is one of the last things that they're adding. This world is vast and How fair wondrous. You. But since I don't like silence, Good health to you. I got like a playlist running in the background. Uh, thank you very much, by the way, uh, Matthias. Hope you're doing good. I'm so excited for Monday's video, by the way. Oh, it took me a lot to get it done. But I'm Welcome hoping it's going to be so Dragon worth it. Ours is a solemn burden. Back up, Drakfir. I have sworn to keep you from the world at all costs. We have been warned what danger your kind pose. It is the entire story of the Black Dragonfly, George. Everything, well... The major things that happen to the Black Dragonflight to prepare people for Dragonflight. We uh, protect the Isles. I just saved your life. Chaos. How does that feel? For the glory of the dragons. You healed me and my soldiers when we would have kept you as prisoners. These are not the deeds of I an enemy. Go in search over you. I know, right? 
Mm, okay. Are the leaks in two weeks? If the if the uh, sorry, the pre-patch in two weeks. If the leaks are true, I guess so. Like the leaks have been four out of four, right? So I guess. I am proud to serve others. Violence is not the only avenue to victory. Be careful not to break The antidote anything. is ready. Use it to search the support crash for survivors. Work quickly. The effect will not last long, so you may have to reapply it. If any of my people yet draw breath, you can save them. And if they do not, I ask you to cover their horn signets so that their names may be honored. While inside, perhaps you can find some evidence on how this infestation came to be. Help others, please, Evoker. Save all of my people that you can. And honor the memories of the fallen. Shannon! Uh, hello there! Thank you so much for becoming a subscriber. Welcome, welcome. Um, What am I thinking of this world for this expansion? Like the environment NPCs. Does it make you feel like you want to explore everything? Um, Yeah. Um, I follow... If, I don't know if you know this person on Twitter. Uh, they're called Hardy Chicken. Um, and they've been posting a lot of screenshots of like little tidbits here and there that they found uh, while exploring the Dragon Isles. And there's actually quite a lot of little things that you might overlook if you just play through the game, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, at the same time, when I look at like the main storyline, it seems like there's a lot of foundation. There's a lot of things that they can build upon. There are some new, interesting, cool bits and pieces that they're adding. But mostly it's, I would describe it best as safe. And um, I wonder, I wonder where it's all going to lead. Like, what is the point of the expansion? What is the point of going back to the Dragon Isles? Are we just going back to status quo? Are we actually going somewhere? Um, like, on, on the one hand, it could very well be that they are without inspiration. And they're literally just repeating storylines. That we're just going to go back into the Cataclysm. We're just going to do that again. Um, but I hope not. I hope that they have more in mind to just redo what we've done before. But that is only something, um, time is gonna tell, right? Howdy, Agar. Hello there. Um, yeah, I'm doing really well. How you doing? Horn signets. Okay, so according to the leaks, the drug fear evokers will come later. Makes sense. Oh god, I'm dying! Whew! I mean, even just having the talents on the pre-patch will add quite a bit. I love having the talents. The new UI. Yeah. Sorting out your mental health. Ooh, that is a forever journey right there. So, I got this here stone. Oh, you want me to put it in the door? Yeah, I could do that. Voila. Come on, team. Run for your life. Ooh, uh, they got little stones over here. Edict the Healing Wings. The Healing Wings. This worm shall be the face and symbol for hope among all those who would call the aspects their allies. The Healing Wings are charged with mastering the arts of preservation and healing. Wield the powers of time and the emerald dream to return those who are wounded to the full might. Ah, oh, that's kind of cool. Word are injured. The healing wings will be there to tend them. Let's by skill commander Viridia. The healing wings shall embody the resilience and fortitude of the Earth Order. And here we have Malagos, my aspect. So this is a report as to why it was infested to begin with. The Drakvir remain securely in stasis. And my long vigil watching over them continues. While I am reluctant to trouble you, I fear I must report that the integrity of the crash has been compromised. An insectoid infestation has breached these halls, and in my own arrogance, I at first believed that this incursion would prove little more than an annoyance of unwanted pests. But now, the contamination spreads out of control, and I find myself short of breath as I'm overwhelmed by the toxins produced by the invasive species. I refuse to abandon the posts that you assigned to me, but I must request additional aid. It seems that my arcane skills are insufficient to counteract this melody. Lo your loyal servant... And Desigos. I know, right, Andrew? I know. Alright, so that's... Uh, there we go. It's a hole, but I'm super optimistic. Fix it, the root causes. Slow, but steady. Small steps, right? Small changes to lead to the big changes. You're aware? 
You got a plan in mind. You got a goal to achieve. You'll get there. We will do this together. Okay. I am always ready. Oh boy, ready for adventure. I know what to do. What is the problem? Yes, I can help. You are now called Benny. We will do this together. Evoker, we managed to get this old Soren Hansa working. It should be strong enough to send you back to the war crash. Right? I know I can. My duty is to help others. None shall die or suffer if it's within my power to prevent it. All right. Be careful not to break anything. Thank you for rescuing those who could be saved. Refanash, Katrinaza, and Tenezef. I vow that the names of the fallen will be remembered. I have patience to see. Sick up an epic upgrade for uh, the band as well. Yay! Evoker, you have my gratitude for aiding my word in our most desperate hour. After we regain our strength, oh, the infestation report actually can. gets on the floor here. Oh, interesting. You look well. After we regain our strength, the healing wings will rendezvous with the rest of our forces. Sindra tells me that Emberfall lost everyone from her worn. I fear that I have no magic that can heal such a wound. She may seem stoic, but Emberfall feels this loss deeply. Tell her that I am on my way. Stay well. My people need time to recover before we can rendezvous with the others. And the Draconid, well, they are not known for their swiftness. The Draconid? Neltharion said we should never show mercy to an enemy. They are soldiers just like us. Do not judge them too harshly for following orders. Interesting. Um, how noxerity. Hello, everybody. Uh, what do I think about the visuals for Drakfear? I uh, like the customization. I like the models. Um, the spell work itself, honestly haven't seen anything that made me go like, ew, that looks awful. Um, but then again, I also haven't really paid massive attention to it, gotta admit. So I might have missed something that I'm like, ooh, yeah, that could actually be, um, that could actually be something to work on. You can ride regular mounts as well, uh, but only when you learn uh, riding, of course, which we don't do on our little starting zone. But eventually, I imagine, yeah. Hello. The Ebon Scales are under siege by wild drakes, Terasek, and Elementals. I overheard the name Primalists. Then our people are in even more danger than we thought. We are the shield of the Drakthir. Let us begin. I am relieved that Rydia still lives. If what their vision says is true, we will have need of her talents in the battle to come. We will find our fate. All right, Serve so we've done healing honor. wings. Um, oh, I can't actually tell you how many are still to be done, as it is a account-wide achievement. Yay! There is much to be done. Durfishan's report is troubling. An enemy force calling themselves the Primalists have invaded Storm Sunder Crater, pinning the Ebon skills down at the siege crash. These intruders are summoning violent elementals and recruiting the vicious Terrasec to their cause. Azuratel will need your help at a crater. By wing or by Talon, save our people. Once the Ebon skills are safe, ask the commander to rendezvous. Be warned, Sarkarev can be prickly. Stay true. The Ebon scales need our aid. To storm Sunder Crater. Fight well! Okay! Wait, I need to talk. Trevesh. Looking for something in particular? You look awesome. Have a look around. I deal in only the finest goods. Right, straight to business. This better not awaken something within only me. only the finest goods. Evoker, this place still has herds of Vorkin. I managed to round up a few of the more agreeable creatures that can be used as mounts for when your wings are tired. Do you remember how to ride? I was ordered to issue one to you as the skill commanders are ordering you all over the place. Well, there you go. We learn journeyman riding even on our little starting place. And we can choose between obsidian, sapphire, crimson, or bronze. Obviously bronze. Bronze always the choice. A wise choice. And now we've learned Giddy Up and Fast and the Furious, which means that our entire collection, including the dragon riding mounts that I had from my other characters, uh, are available. However, dragon riding mounts are only not available in every single zone. Wait, what? Um, um, do we have the other one? I mean, for those who have been wondering, like, can you ride a dragon as a dragon? 
Yes. Yes, you can. You are now a more high-definition dragon than the dragon that you're riding on. Will I attempt to do Legion and Shadowlands content with the Drakvir? Um... Not really see the point, Ice. Gotta be honest. Um, like, if we're talking about testing purposes, I know that Mr. GM has put out some tweets the other day in which he was going through... Um, can you go, like, the Broker Shore or the Demon Hunter Order Hall or an Order Hall for the Drakvir themselves? I know that Nefarian in Classic Blackwing Lair has a special interaction with them. Um, like, stuff like that. It looks so wrong. It's, uh, I mean, to be fair, this dragon just needs a freaking upgrade when it comes to textures, but... I don't know. I'm somewhat of a dragon, but not a full-blown dragon. So I don't mind riding on them. Uh, bronze. I had... No. Oh, it's in my inventory, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I had this one. Haha. Ooh. Ooh. That's a derpy-ass horse. I like it. Howdy, Neil. Hello there. Cool. I like it. It can stay. It can be my mount. Um... I mean, like I said, it's just gonna... But these models just need a texture upgrade. Like, look at how... <laughs> and then you're you're sitting there with your high-text poly model on top of a bronze dragon. And it's like, yeah, this is life right now. <laughs> okay. Moving on, speak with Azuratel in the crater. Hmm, add alternative high def versions? Maybe. Oh, I just lost a ton of speed. And did it add music? Nah, 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 this playlist right now in the background. All right. Keep your talons sharp and your breath hot. Looks like we have a fight on our hands. So, so far, we've woken up. For some reason, the blue dragonfly is trying to keep us locked down. But we won't let the man keep us locked down and we broke out. Uh, we dealt with a crash, which was uh, dealing with a bug infestation. And everybody died to the poison. And we even helped out those that tried to oppress us. And now we are looking at a storm. The storm has come. Let us begin. I Should I have? What? Well, Evoker, I hope you're ready to get your talents dirty. Stay true to your wear. Proto dragons flying in reinforcements. An elemental army being conjured on site. Tarazek recruited into the ranks. Our enemy is efficient and dangerous. This operation must have some greater purpose. Hmm. Why do these primalists seem so familiar? No time for that. Focus on the Dark Fear, trapped on the other side of the crater. The obsidian warders stand proud. The Tarasek are unpredictable and wild, like primordial draconids, if you will. Nelfarian consider them little more than fodder. Targets for our training, but they're cunning hunters and deadly when encountered in packs. Should they gain elemental power from these primalists, they will become even more dangerous, and we cannot let that happen. Slay seven Tarasek. The Dark Fear. We'll find a place in this world. These primalists are summoning an army of elementals. We have to assume that they mean to unleash them against our forces. Well, not on our watch. Rain fired upon them. Burn those elementalists from the reach. Take out those conjurers before they summon the more. Obsidian borders stand proud. Any new discoveries? My memories are still clouded from stasis, but I am certain we've encountered, encountered these primalists before. It is no use. Trying to remember feels like chasing fragments of a dream. Perhaps you could fare better. Look for any clues as to what or who motivates these invaders. Fair I know we have faced an enemy like this before, but I only recall flashes. 
fragments. Perhaps learning more about our foes will help us remember what happened. Perhaps it will. Opa, there we go. Ta ta tom. UK blast though. Why so sad? And Elias, nah, both. We do both. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hi, Risi. Hello there. Okay, so we learned a new ability, and this one is actually freaking awesome. Look. I am Deathwing Roar. Sorry, I meant Onyxia, Deep Breath. Or literally any other dragon out there. Like, we're getting so many cool... Um, Fire-based abilities. Unreal. Sadly, it does have like a two-minute cooldown, but it's so freaking cool. You bought a giant bag of sour gummy worms. That that does not sound like a good idea. No. How 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 empty is Terasek, it? Terasek, we offer you freedom and power. Join our fight against the aspects. Kurok Grim Totem. Wonder how related you are to McGuffle. Which, honestly, for how elemental this expansion has been so far, you kind of have to wonder, where is our McGuffle? Confused Tarasek. Don't, know, don't need those. Tarasek are like the lizards from Pandaria. The elements awaken! Infuse me with their strength, and I will free the Storm Eater from her prison! Okay. Uh, mounts. I use you as audiobooks when I want to listen to something interesting. Hope you're doing well. Hell, Wayne, that is super kind of you. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, yeah, doing really, really good. I'm, um,. On the verge of moving location, moving house. So that in combo with the Dragonflight launch means that we are currently in some crazy times. Crazy busy, crazy fun. Uh, but I'm highly, highly motivated. So uh, yeah, good times. Trying to uh, juggle it all. Also, for those um, who might not be aware, when we're speaking about listening to audiobooks and just having stuff in the background... Um, I am on Spotify these days. Oh boy, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Whee! Heal, 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 heal. Self heal, self heal. Ah, didn't work. Ow. We died. Oh no. Yep. Um, if you go to my Twitter, I think it's pinned to my profile, the link to it. Otherwise, look up like Noble87. Uh, Spotify. Yeah. I'm still working on uploading the audio files, but if there are requests from people like, this is the one that I want to see uh, as quick as possible, then I will um, definitely throw it up there quicker. But yeah. Move it, moving on up. It's, it's basically um, do like five episodes a week. Upload them usually on like the Sunday, and yeah, we get it done. I don't know. I should, off I should mention it more often. I need to sit down and make like um god what do people call it the one where you have like all your social like social tree i need something like that where's all my social stuff for like one website <gasps> Nine thousand rider thank you very much for that is that a bird giving me the thumbs up i love it thank you <laughs> i also love like the different currencies that are coming in <laughs> uh 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 Uh, for the longest time, people have been asking me, like, could you upload your episodes to uh, Spotify? And I've been wanting to. But in order to upload to Spotify, um, you need, you need like, a publisher. So Nups from Preach Gaming actually um, explained to me, like, you could use this in this website and you don't have to worry about any of that. It's like, oh, that's sick. So here we are. Uh, Ryder, you are far too kind. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go, Tazarov. 
The slaves of Nelfarian dare challenge me. Yes. Oh, that's another spike. You want a duck boss in the Brawler's Guild? Let's go. I'm down for it. I just want Brawler's Guild again. That's what I, I really want. Side stuff to do. Hell, I would love for Torgus to have like actual fun boss fights in there. Or uh, like the Mage Tower. Give me stuff like that. Love, love, love stuff like that. Really like the dynamic between uh, casting and moving around. It's quite nice. Now, obviously, I'm more used to the Paladin, which can do whatever the heck it needs to do at all times. That's quite nice. Just gonna throw a little flower out. Do you like dragon riding? Yes. Would you prefer that the aspect touch you a spell to turn into a dragon? Um. Um. Well, that's not fair now, is it? Uh, so, for me, I, I honestly, genuinely, like, people ask me, like, how is the expansion? I'm a little bit, meh. It's, uh, it's, it's a good foundation, but I think it needs more. But when it comes to dragon riding, I can honestly 100% tell you that I love the dragon riding feature. It's great fun. Um, so I like dragon riding as it is right now. I like it on the drag fear. I like it on how we're going to unlock it. I like the customization. I like all that stuff. But if you're going to offer me the ability for the aspects to turn me into a full-blown dragon, hell yeah. But then are we still dealing with the drag fear or are we something else at that point? Embrace the gift of the Storm Eater. Together, we will unleash her might upon this world. Yeah. Okay. Um, Torgos was a weird one. As always, a complete walkover or a boring slog, never in between. Yep. Thank you, Arsalan. I've had it once where Torgos was actually a shit ton of fun. Where me and a buddy, we were in this, this run that was just hurting us both. And I had this jumping ability. And with it, I was able to kite the mobs around while they were dealing damage. It was insane. It was... Something that should not have worked actually worked. Like, that was fun. But overall, it was just... I don't know what's up with them. Like, they come up with these cool concepts, right? Like, Torghast. And then they're, like, tone it down. Or they're like, you know what? We're gonna add a required power so that everybody needs to play this. But then we also gotta make sure that every run is successful. And it's like, that's... Mm. I, mm. Torghast had such potential. How is the storyline in Dragonflight? I haven't been paying attention to Echo Dragonflight stuff at all. Um. Ah, <laughs> works me. Um. Like, I don't know how much you want spoiled. But. Without spoilers, imagine. Cataclysm and Pandaria had a baby. Uh. Okay. That was some bullshit right there. Hmm. I like the feature as well. It's just they could have done it in a sandstone drake. <laughs> True. But then um, I think my point about... Are we still drag fear? Or have we done become full-blown dragons? And yeah. <laughs> Ready to launch, by the way. Uh-huh. Do you think next week they'll release the Dragonflight Covenant cinematics? Um, no, but like what I'm what I'm hoping is that they're going to um, I'm I'm hoping that they're going to keep those cutscenes locked away until Dragonflight launches, so that we can see them in the full glory with context. It's not going to happen, but that is my hope. However, what we can look forward to. Uh, and Terran tweeted about this the other day, is that we're going to get afterlife episodes, but for Dragonflight. We're going to get more background and story on Dragonflight itself. Now that I think about it, Dragonflight launches in two months. I kind of feel like we need to get some promotion going. Wrath of the Lich King has been promoted to high heavens. Where's my Dragonflight promotion at? 
So I'm hoping for like Afterlife episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we're gonna get Dragonflight Afterlife episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping that those are gonna drop next week. It, it's definitely time. If not next week, then we're looking at the end of the month, right? Like with uh, the pre events. Yeah. It launches next flight, right? Um, what do I think is the weakest part of Dragonfly thus far? Top three, if you're able to. Um, I think that Dragonfly's strongest part is that they've got rid of borrow power systems. No covenants, no necklace, no artifacts, none of the bullshit. Um, but at the same time, I also feel like that is Dragonfly's biggest weakness, because without that kind of content, you reach end game. And all you got is raiding and dungeoneering. Now, I'm not arguing that we should have borrow power. I'm extremely happy with the borrow power. That's what I would describe it as one of the strongest features. However, I'm looking for the content that I'm actually going to be playing. And I wonder, where is that content? Um, that is what I feel is currently Dragonflight's weakest spot. The lack of endgame content. What do I want to see? I want to see a Brawler's Guild, the a Mage Tower. The are up ahead. I want to see a Brawler's Guild, a Mage Tower, a freaking Pandaria farm, a Garrison. I don't give two hoots what you're going to give me, as long as you give me something to play for. And right now, the endgame looks to be either the standard endgame, by which I mean dungeons and raiding, which I'm sure is going to be awesome, PvPing, which I'm sure is going to be awesome, um, and then it's getting your reputation up at the factions in, in the form of world quest, in the form of doing stuff. And I'm like, is that going to keep me entertained for the duration? And maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay to have like, okay, well, I'm not overly interested in raiding or uh, dungeoneering. I'm just going to be unsurprised for a little bit. Fun fact, that is how I played Wrath of the Lich King. I remember clearly where I asked people like, hey, I've just done the Grand Tournament. I've geared up. What can I do in WoW? And they told me, go raid. And I'm like, nah. And they're like, go PvP. And I'm like, nah. And then they were like, well, sucks to be you. And over time, that's why I love something like Miss Pandaria so much. They added more content to do beyond the standard endgame. Uh, think a farm, think scenarios, think the Brawler's Guild. There's been Torghast, but actually fun and, and just for like transmog or pets or mounts or whatever the hell. Um, stuff like that I would like to do and I would like to see in, in endgame. Um, that is what I would right now say could use the most work. Um... And at the same time, it does make a good foundation. Like, at least the foundation is there. I just really hope, and that is impossible to predict, I just really hope they have fat patches lined up with, like, fat amount of content in there. But we're gonna find out. The Drakthea, stand ready. The Primalist speaks of unleashing a terrible storm. Could an even greater threat be locked away somewhere on the reach? Diplomacy first. We are bound by duty. Fair skies and strong winds to you. Do not mourn the loss of a few Tarasek, where there's one scores more lurk in the shadows. Stay true to your wear. Conjured elementals may not be the most satisfying foe, but it does feel good to stretch our wings again. Fair skies and strong winds to We got you. past the Primalist incursion. Now we must reach the crash. Skill Commander Sarkarev is as tough as they come, and this worm holds the line. But a dragon has the Evan skills pinned down. It's time for us to join the fight. Take points, give the signal. And we'll hit it with everything we got. Watch out for the ambushes. We need to grab that dragon's proud. attention so the Evan scales can strike. I got a bad feeling. Get about us this. close to the target and then give the signal evoker. Alrighty. I do like the starting experience though. It's kinda cool. Attack! The order is given. Attack! Evan Scales, strike is one! have granted me the power I need. 
At long last, the mistress of the storm shall be free. I just love bad guys that are like, oh, we, wake we don't up have to, to do find anything. a hostile dragon in our crèche, then fight off an elemental army at our doorstep. I want answers, Azurathel. Answers will have to wait. The primalists spoke of unleashing a great storm upon the world. We must stop them. Why is it always the Grim Totem? Are they bored? They're just well into the elements. And they just they just want to get things done, we see. But I just love a bad guy that actually just walks away. As you can see, by the way, uh, the belt that I uh, got earlier is a Dragfear belt. As it now... It now obscures the regions that I actually wanted to show off. But that's okay. You know, modesty is good for you. Um, so what we can see so far is that the proto-dragons are on the attack. And there's actually a bit of a difference between the proto-dragons and the dragons themselves. Uh, we're going to find out about that in just a second. Get to the point. You find well... But we had this under control. The Abbas scales look after their own. And I don't know, uh, Rafan. It's a good question, to be honest. If they're going to be dealing with this storyline. Dismissed. Now that the fight is done, you asked me to report into Emberfall. Does Azurathel expect me to follow her commands? I think not. The Abbas scales answer only to the Earth Order. And thus far, I've received no orders from Nelfarian. Still, I'm not blind to the threat that these primalists represent. I'm certain I've fought their kind before. And yet... We will rally to the grounds once my people have recovered. You are dismissed. Ah, oh, Jackson. Uh, by the way, for those who have been paying attention, uh, from time to time we see a certain duo of black dragons up in the sky. Uh, Refion and uh, Ebonhorn. They're doing the thing in the background. That will be Until all. Until the Earth Warder is found, my Warren takes orders only from me. Understood? <sighs> As you will, but stay alert. There are dragons circling above. Possibly hostile. Nah, Ebon that's Refion. scales. Gather the signets of the dead. Then prepare to move out. Don't oh, worry about Refion. I kind of want to check out if they have... Um, like, so far, we've been able to find, like, little orders given. Although, is this just the starting area that we came from earlier? If my Oh, yeah, it actually is. Oh, never mind then. What news? Never mind. Y'all do your thing. Is Refion a member of the Drug Fear race? Refion is a beastie all on his own. Um, Refion is a dragon. We could be, we could safely say that Refion is a dragon, but their creation is a bit weird. Now, coming Monday, uh, I'm gonna be doing the story of the Black Dragon Flight, uh, so we will be diving further into this subject. Um, but it's, it's hard to say, because we kind of made Refion. If, if you remember. We made Refion. I can't control myself. Oh, this just automatically brings me back. Haha. -ha. Um, and how's the story so far? Enjoyable. It's uh, it's a good setup for uh, the Dragfear. So this, this, this part I enjoy. Yeah. It's new. It's added to blank spaces that we didn't know before. It doesn't change anything that we knew before. Although maybe a little. Um... I never expected Nelfarian to be like, you know, these mortal races, there's something to be said about that. But then again, just because it never was doesn't mean it wasn't, right? And who do I want to aspect? Refion or Sibelian? A Refion. Like, honestly, I want Ebonhorn to be like, yo, you both suck. I'm going to be the one. But if I have to compare, like, Sibelian hasn't done anything up to Dragonflight. And Refion, I know Refion. I like Refion. I like his I don't care what happens attitude as long as we protect Azeroth. And while, yes, a lot of his plans blew up in his face, at the end of the day, he did get the job done. Um, and I just find him a lot more interesting than Sibelian at this point in time. Now, if they give a lot of story to Sibelian, think, for example, an afterlife where we learn about their time in Outland, that might change my opinion. But right now, I'm Team Refion. Let us begin. The Prime List empowered a leader in some kind of ritual. We Tell will me everything. These cultists speak of unleashing a storm. The threat is greater than you know, young ones. Hey, you We fear these primalists. 
Seek to release something ancient. Something terrible. Why should we trust you? Were you sent by the Earth Warder? Where is Naltharion? Naltharion? Oh? It seems there is much you do not know. I am Abyssian, and this is Rathion. We will answer all your questions in time. But we must join forces and strike now, or the enemy will prevail. This is our home. The Drakthir will defend it. We will fight beside you, but you do not give the orders here, dragons. So be it. Fine. But do try not to get in our way. After all, I know a thing or two about vanquishing ancient adversaries. <laughs> uh, I remember Nelfarian in the vision of Yaxaron took on the guise of a human, if I remember right. So there's definitely that point, DOA. Yeah, fair play. Um, did I want to say anything about this? Not really, I suppose. Like, nothing that hasn't been said before. Like, we do see a bit of an upgrade in the models. It oh, seems yeah. Our um, fates are intertwined. About Refion, um, I do feel, in order to make uh, Sibelian look better, I feel like they're making Refion look worse. And while, yes, he's still young, still a lot to learn, yada, 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 I kind of felt like we've done that before with him, where he was really immature. Um, but they kind of made him more immature. But then again, it might just be in comparison to Sibelian. I don't know. I just feel like Refion is a little bit too nippy. But yeah. Your leader does not understand the gravity of this situation. My companion and I were summoned here by the ancient warning from... Someone who was known to have world-ending aspirations. My companion and I were summoned here by an ancient warning from someone who was known to have world-ending aspirations. Nosdormu, right? We did not expect to find a race as yet unknown in living memory, with talents granted from all five flights, and this is concerning. You stand before the Black Prince. Is there something you wish to discuss? We meet again, champion. Speak your mind. Do you trust me? Nope. I am beginning to understand what drove my father mad. You do realize I am a dragon, yes? That I can breathe fire? Just making sure. I have been expecting you. We meet again, champion. Okay. I will help if I am able. I apologize for my kin's lack of decorum. Refion is young and often impatient. We were drawn to this reach by a force that we both felt deep inside. A warning meant to call our flight here, perhaps. When we first observed you, we were cautious. You see, before our arrival, we did not know your kind existed. It seems there is much you do not remember. In time, I hope your past becomes clear. But right now, we must address the danger in our midst. The land of the Dragon Isles are awakening, just like the Drakfir. And it seems these primalists have come to release an ancient evil. We must stop them. Our legacy will be renewed. Okie dokie. What do you have to report? If what these dragons say is true, then a great battle is upon us. We need to focus and strong, Evoker. Time to choose your battle specialization. Will you preserve your allies or will you devastate your enemies? To hone your combat skills to the sharpest, you choose devastation. And to become a healer, you choose preservation. Fair skies and strong winds. Alright. Now we have talents. Nope, we don't have talents. <laughs> now we have landslide. Yeah, I know I've unspent talent points. I can't open the talent window. And we have pyre. Contra the path of shifting stone, rooting enemies. Lava ball flame deals fire damage to the target and nearby enemies. Okie dokie. Oh, and quell. Interrupt spell casting. There is much to be done. Excellent choice. Remember, you can reconsider your special ability and adjust abilities if needed, so long as you're not in the heat of battle. Serve with honor. Feature unlocked. Specialization. We there we go. Oh, specialization. Not actually talents. Okay. 
I am ready to serve. Look there, across the reach. Primalist forces are converging on the Froststone Vault. The storm they seek to unleash must be locked inside. We fought this enemy before, and we won. Nelfarian commanded that the vault be secured, but I cannot remember why. This is no time for contemplation. Rally with Sarkef and the Ebon Scales at the vault. Ensure that the enemy does not breach it. Stay true. Drakthir, do not let the Primalists breach Froststone Vault. Damn, okay. Alright, that's 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 kinda cool. Ah, uh, we're going down, we're going down. Never mind. Mm. So here once again we got the elements on the attack. The blues are holding the line. Uh our Grim Totem is empowered and proto dragons are in the sky. Who empowered the Primalist? If they're like evil versions of the Aspects, someone must have empowered them, right? So, um, I don't know about the the mortal Primalist. I, I don't know where that faction came to be. It, I've heard the suggestion of being disgruntled Irvin Ring members that are like, yo, the world forgot about this stupid sword and syllabus. You know what? F this world. I'm going to be joining the Primalist now. Uh, but I'm going to assume that that's going to be a lot of the pre-story, a lot of the pre-events. What I can tell you is that once upon a time, before the dragons were the dragons, they were proto-dragons. Um, and in that time, like, proto-dragons are born from the elements. The um, elements were once upon a time locked away on the elemental plane, right? But what was left behind on Azeroth, some of it evolved into the proto-dragons. Like, they are beings of pure elemental power. Um, these proto-dragons, some of them, banded together to take down the threat of Galagrond. They were transformed by the titans, by the keepers, into the dragons. So they were touched by order magic. And a whole bunch of the kind as well, so you didn't have the whole inbreeding thing. But a lot of the kind also wasn't. A lot of the primordial dragon stuff was still around. So primal, primordial proto-dragons infused by the elements... A war that we did not know about prior. Um, a fighting force, an army that we did not know about prior. Drakvir versus elemental proto-dragons. That seems to be the case here. And that's what the Grim Totem is after. They're after whatever was locked away here so many years ago. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening right now. Report. Steady there. The Evan Scales will put an end to this incursion. Move along. So, the Primalists want what's inside this vault, huh? Let them come. Frostmourne hungers. Farewell. This vault holds our legacy. We will not let invaders claim it. Yeah, all right. I'm a healer. You get a heal. Oh, that actually counts for 5%. Aha. Uh -huh. Who is going to be the big baddie? Uh, everybody uh, is wondering who's going to be the big baddie. I've asked people on uh, Twitter. We will shape our destiny. I've uh, did a, I, I've done a little speculation video on it, and right now, myself included, um, the mindset is Galagrond. If not Galagrond, the thing that created Galagrond. Um. Which, which could be a thing. And would also be quite poetic. Like, the whole reason why the Aspects became the Aspects is also the reason why they are no longer Aspects, if not the ending of Dragonflight. Let the storm be unleashed at long last. She shall be free. That could be a thing. Second is uh, the Nosdormu Muruzand story arc. Uh, that a Nosdormu Muruzand is our final boss. That could be a thing. Um... And then something completely left field, right? Jailer 2.0. I've heard the bigger, better Jailer. <laughs> Please no. Please let it be fun. You will bow before her. Before all the incarnates. I'm just happy that we don't know quite yet. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of reveling in the whole mystery and the surprise of it all. Like, this is when everything is still unknown and it's still potential this is the best time in my opinion 
Zoval riding Gallagrond with the Sword of Sargeras? Yeah. Why did the Isles awaken? The aspects have returned. It had something to do with, I don't know, what was it? Ending of Shadowlands? Something like that. Um, Enough! Take the vault! I will liberate the Storm Eater. I have to look it up. Whee! He has a little cloud mount. I have a cloud disc. I want a cloud mount. I have no time for pleasantries. We're overrun. They're about to breach the vaults. Where are those black dragons? We are done here. Oh. All oh, right. There's supposed to be Evoker, a cutscene. get moving. Okay. Right. So uh, there's supposed to be a cutscene that plays out here, and as we can see. Razageth has been released from their prison. Um, Raphael and Ebonhorn try to help us. There's going to be a cutscene in which we see the Grim Totem open up the vault and bring out Razageth. What the heck is Razageth? I hear you ask. What's happening here? Again, new lore. Um, which I can't show you because the adventure guide is not yet available. Well, that's handy. We'll go, we'll go back into it later. There is much to be done. Storms are about to overwhelm us. We must evacuate. Save everybody that you can and find those black dragons. Fall back! Help the wounded! Okie dokie. Beautiful pawns of Neltharion! Your master is dead, and you have been abandoned! <laughs> you poor unfortunate souls. Lara, Lara. Yeah, I mean, we spoke about it before, and people were like, "The Earth Warder, dead." Then we stand alone. It was. It, I do it not was... trust the words of an enemy. Rathian and Abyssian owe us answers. <clears throat> It was Evoker, some... get that dragon back on his feet. There was something about the cutscene, but in any ways, insert MacGuffin here, insert reason here. Energy surge, or... In essence, uh, 10,000 years ago, the dragons left the dragon house, and they set the timer, but the timer never went off. And now they found it again. So, you know. Speak your mind. The pain! Arise, my Refion! And fight once more. Do you trust me? Your aid is unexpected, but it is appreciated. Never let your guard down. Thank you for healing me. I hope that we are earning one another's trust. The Storm Eater. I have never faced a dragon of such raw elemental power. If there are others like her. Wait. Where's Abyssian? Did he survive? You must find him. Every act. You have my thanks, Strakthir. Now please, find... Tell us, dragon. Did the Incarnate speak the truth? Is Neltharion dead? The Neltharion you knew fell long, long ago. It is a complicated tale. Our legacy. Lost. Uh-oh. So yeah, there are more storm dragons, by the way. This is more like the electrical version, but there's also fire. <laughs> this is all that remains of Nothariens flight. Pathetic. Did you just She picked him up like he was a little baby. Over here. Oh wow, she dropped kicked your ass. Let us work together. Cool. You, uh, you want to come out? Cool, guys, but evil? Yeah, it's a really, really cool concept. Thank you. That should be enough. I thought I would be the one saving you. Drakthir are formidable indeed. Sorry for the audio settings, by the way. It looks like certain effects are still on the dialogue bar, and it just, it will blow your ears out. My apologies. 
I just can't change it on the fly. Those elemental proto-dragons are absolutely kicking our dragon boys. I love it. Yes. The Isles have awakened. What do you have to report? Are the DPS evokers doing different quests while you do this? Uh, I am a DPS evoker, Jackson. So, <laughs> no, we do the same. <laughs> I'm relieved you made it out, but I cannot help but feel lost. Stay true. The storm unleashed by the Razagev is too powerful. We must evacuate the only home that we have ever known. There is no longer an Earth Warder to command us. For the first time, we are free to make our own choices, to find our own fate. Wherever you go in this new age, I hope you'll find worthy allies. Tell them our story. As for me, I will stay here and I will look for survivors. Along the way, I may find answers about our past. May fortune favor us all. So get our people out of here, Evoker. I will stay behind and search for survivors. And answers. Rosdormo! Behold! The bronze aspect has come! Children of Neltharion, hearken to me! Your time does not end today. No I dragon. refuse to bow to another aspect. All aspects got like new models as well, by the way. It looks really, really cool. Uh, so upcoming is the cutscene I was talking about earlier. Somebody All asked, lands, prepare to evacuate. The aspect will provide cover. Come, Evoker. I would speak with you. Someone asked earlier, like, do we get to experience this storyline if we don't run a uh, Dragfear? Which, no. This is purely the Dragfear starting area, similar to how, like, Demon Hunters have their starting area. Uh, but later, you will, if you are not a Dragfear, um, see a similar, see this cutscene. Not a similar, but see this cutscene. Now, I don't think the cutscene is actually implemented, but we're gonna try. Razagath! Optimus! Oh, no storm! I am pleased that not all of the aspects have met a bitter end. Not yet. <laughs> not yet? Damn, okay. Tell your queen. I am coming for her. The storm's reckoning comes for you all! <laughs> the release of Razageth heralds great danger for this world, just as your awakening heralds great change. Neat. The kingdoms of Azeroth must be warned. Go to them. Along the way, you may discover a new destiny of your own. Nah, nah, nah. There was more. Rathian, Abyssian. You are known to the peoples of this world. Guide the Drakthir on their journey. Yes, Timeless One. Huh. I thought there was another cutscene beyond this one, where they were gonna explain, like, what happened with Nelfarian and whatnot. Seeing all of time is my fate and my curse. There is only one true timeline. I see you have a part to play in this. All that matters is this moment. Open your mind to what is yet to come. Of course I knew you were going to do that. And that. Hmm. And that. And yes, that. <laughs> the downside to seeing all of time. There's no point in reading a new book or attending the latest play. I already know how they're going to end. Aww. In a minute, there is time for decisions and revisions which a minute will reverse. The sands of time are plentiful, but precious. Our final meeting, or our first, all that matters is this moment. Seeing all of time is my fate. Huh. 
and my curse. No annoying lines. All right. Shall we? I know what the aspects asked of us, but the healing wings cannot join you. We still have wounded, and these wingless draconid have grown attached to us. No, my worm is not flying anywhere. I plan for us to cross the channel to the Dragon Isles. <gasps> Plenty of others in need of our aid there, I suspect. Thank you for helping my people. No, make that Void Knob. Thank you, Void Knob. Take care of yourself. Aurelia, you could come with us. With... Uh, uh, me. Oh, I'm sorry, dear friend. My Wan will remain in the Dragon Isles. Wan? If fate is kind, we will not be parted long. Fair skies and strong winds, Syndra. You like the baby carrying one, yeah? Who's a good little baby? Mm -hmm -hmm. Hi, Raphion. Is there something you wish to discuss? Your general will call a full retreat if she has not yet. When we depart from here, I have implored Azuratel to bring at least his wern to Stormwind. There the Alliance can lend aid in exchange for aid. They are the one of the largest gatherings of mortals in Azeroth. And I am familiar <laughs> with many of the leaders. Trust me when I say they could use you as much as you could use them. Reporting for duty. I don't know about the souls, by the way, for these uh, Drakbeer. I don't know if they would fall under the category mortal, immortal. I do not know. Speak. It was our destiny to be the finest soldiers of Dragonkind. We pledged our lives to fight at Nelfarian's side. Our lives, Evoker! And what is our vow worth to the Aspects? Nothing! They locked us away like broken playthings. Well, we are not broken. Off with you, Sarkarath. My Warren will follow Rathian to the city called Stormwind. Come with us. I am done taking orders. Our vow to serve the dragons is sundered, just as Neltharion broke his promises to us. Let the ebon scales be forgotten. We are now the Sundered Flame. We will claim the destiny that is ours by right. Damn. Okay. They're not happy. How do you feel? His anger pushes him down a dark path. I dread the day we meet again. Not as friends, but as rivals on the yeah. field of battle. I, I don't know. If they're this thick on his Victorian, I don't know. I'm thinking more like, mm, I hate you, but I will still support you kind of deal. Here to spar. I'm going to find out. Abyssin tells me of a group called the Horde. Claim they value honor and strength. If true, they may have proved... Ah, if true, they may have proved worthy of us. He says their council rules from a city called Orgrimmar. Looks we have a long flight ahead of us. Anything for an ally. Dark Talons, fall in! We have to lead the reach. Lead the way, Abyssin. The warders will follow Rathian. Children of Neltharion, you have awakened to face a shattered past and an uncertain future. Yet the threads of fate weave a new path to distant shores. I will now magically eat you. Time will speed your wings along the way. Tell the world of what you have witnessed, and warn them of the storm to come. Okay. I thought there was another cutscene, but maybe I'm wrong. Within these walls gather the noble races of the Horde. For the Horde! A city built upon a foundation of strength and honor. Traits my people embody as well. Why do we keep adding people to the Horde with promises of honor and glory? Impressive structure. And then we give them war chiefs like Sylvanas. But nothing will hold back the might of the Dark Talons. <laughs> 
I have no doubt your soldiers will be given many chances to prove themselves. Dragons, main the ballista. <laughs> Before we enter, I will assume another form. One that is more recognizable to the Horde. A visage, yes. I remember the Earth Warder had one too. Nybar, activate. Well, Nybar. we have arrived. Where are your allies, Abyssian? Patience, Cinder Thresh. I am sure we will receive an appropriate welcome. Yeah, no. Nightbot is taking a bit of a break. Understandable. Uh, still no talents. Oh, okay. Um, yes, they entered how far his head was mounted. Uh huh. I mean, to be fair, they do do a bit of a time skip. So um, we have like three years that um, that happened between Shadowlands and Dragonflight. So for all that time, there's been peace on Azeroth. The horsemen ruled by a council. So you know. I just, I just remember that the Magar Orcs are added to the Horde and they're like introduced to Sylvanas with the promise of, oh yeah, there's honor and glory amongst the Horde. And it's like, me, plans? I would never have evil plans. I will help if I am able. Our arrival will not have gone unnoticed. Allow me to speak with them before we enter. Something in history with the council. There will be time for introductions after. For Azeroth. Always. I am ready. What do you need? Let's get back to training. It seems like our arrival was noticed after all. Maybe there's hope for these people yet. I'll follow with Abyssian and the Horde leadership and try to smooth this out. You're on Reckon. See what this place has to offer. Okay. Anything Explore. for an ally. Mela, stand down, warriors of the Horde. Spirit Walker Ebonhorn, it is good to meet a familiar face at the city gate, even when accompanied by others that are less familiar. I am glad to find you well, Mela, but I fear pleasantries will have to wait. Events are unfolding that imperil us all. These Drakthir and I must speak with the Horde Council. Then let us not linger. Follow me. Soldiers, return to your posts. If these newcomers have earned your trust, Spirit Walker, then they will have mine as well. The gates of Orgrimmar stand open to them. Cool. So, um... A bit of history between uh, Abyssian and uh, Mela, of course. Um... Spiritwalker Ebonhorn was, or is, an uncorrupted black dragon, created after the War of the Ancients. Uh, Hall and High Mountain went into uh, Nelfarian's vault, lair in High Mountain, and um, with the hammer of Kaskarov were, was able to create an uncorrupted black dragon. And ever since, um, the High Mountain Torren the line of Halm has had the advice of Ebonhorn. As well as they will be aware of uh, their true identity. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Whee! Dun, dun, there we go. What do you need? Do you change your own tail? My Strength. dog does it all the time. Glory to the Horde. Go with honor. So I've now learned how to regularly fly. And now we can fly regularly. Whee! I know, Knight Rafa. Mm -hmm. So they have two ways of flying. They have regular flying where they just jump on a mount. And um, they get carried around by whatever mount they're riding on. I'm actually wondering if their given racial mount that we got on the Isle, that's also a flying variation. I imagine it is. It is in fact not. Okay. 
Uh, and then they have their own flying, which is basically dragon riding. But is their racial abilities like soar and whatnot? Auction house. I bid 12 gold. No, 15. But I was going to buy that. Okay. If you were going to RP as a troll, which troll tribe would fit you the most? If you were going to be an uh, rogue assassin? I uh, don't know if that necessarily falls under which troll tribe as in the class that you were going to play. I think it's more about your backstory. Like how... Do you want your uh, relationship to be with the Horde, right? Everyone loves a good Horde. For the Horde! <laughs> How long has Orgrimmar had a goblin walking around in a pile of gold? What? Since forever. Alright. Since Keta. Okay. Well, it just... I'm just showing my alliance colors, aren't I? So we got like these... What the fuck? This fully customized dragon riding mount, which I don't own, by the way. This is supposed to be blue. Look at how fucking cool it is. You can ride fucking Bowser. Get the fuck out of here. Look at it. Um, but we're not actually allowed to ride out here. Um, we, ju we just get regular ass mounts. <laughs> Shit, black. <laughs> That's the gladiator mount. I'm afraid we'll have to PvP during Dragonflight. I'll pull an Asmogold, yeah? Who's going to carry me? Let's go. It seems we're not the only recent arrivals. Nope. For the requirements, by the way, to become a uh, Dragfear. I don't believe there's a reputation requirement. I don't believe there's an any requirement beyond by Dragonflight. Streamer privilege. Hell yeah. How do you get into the Dragonflight beta? You want to level? Um, there are still Dragonflight beta keys being given away right now. Um, alternative would be to um, mark your accounts and make sure that you've turned on your beta settings and then it's just a matter of getting lucky. Is that Vexiona? Uncorrupt the Void Wing. Oh. Can we see the flying racial? Uh, yeah. Hang on two seconds. Hiya. Also, Bane and Mela. Totally a couple now. Um, so the, the racial ability for the fear for flying is soar. And then you got like all your abilities. Similar to how all the rest of us as we go to the Dragon Isles. We're going to get special dragon mounts. Um, you're going to get uh, the Cliffside Drake. The Highland Drake is supposed to be blue. Beta thing. Uh... Proto Drake and a green one, and there's also a bronze one, and I'm certain there's going to be a black one as well. So we get different mounts of different colors, which also have their own customization. Either way, they all have dragon riding. Dragon riding is basically uh, you can double tap space on your dragon mount, and you will fly up. But if you're doing it as a drag fear, you hit your soar ability, which is you're charging up and you're in the sky. As you can see, my bar has changed. Um, if you go down, you will increase in speed, right? And you will have an animation to come with. If you go up, you will slowly but surely decrease in speed and you will fall down like a brick. Now, you do get energy. You do get abilities. I'm thinking that my energy bubble are hidden behind a bar somewhere. Uh, but you get like two or three bars uh, of energy. So with that energy, you can fly up again. Which then in turn can be used to create speed in this way. Or... You can use uh, a flap. And a flap is just increase your speed right like this and like this. And as you can see, my buttons are now grayed out, which means that I've used all my energy. Uh, over time, you will be able to get um, ability points, which increase your flying ability. So uh, think, for example, energy rege regeneration is faster. Or think uh, barrel roll. Or think like other abilities that you get for your dragon riding. So the baseline is really cool. It's really good. Over time, you're going to get a lot more. 
Um, for me, my favorite one would have to be Green Dragonfly because of Ysera, but ultimately, like Bronze Dragonfly, the powers of time, Chromie, it's just... Mwah. May the Earth Mother smile upon you. The strength of the Horde lies in its people. Though we all very different, we find common cause together. Perhaps the Drakfir could add to that strength. Time will tell. My mountain as caretakers you. of this world. I trust the Bician with the whole of my heart. If he speaks well of the Drakfir, then I trust his judgment. But the other members of the Hordes, they would cry more than a word of my old friends. Call on me, should you have Let me. us work together. You call that a uniform? But how you have your run? orders. Good to see you again. I hope your exploration was fruitful. It is a city built on kinship and courage. I've just spoken with the Horde Council and they've accepted the Aspect's invitation to the Dragon Isles. Preparations for the journey will begin shortly. Come, let's speak with the others. The Black Dragonflight will protect this world once again. Our legacy will be renewed. Okay, so we were supposed to talk to Abyssian right there and listen to him talk. A cutscene not yet implemented, I imagine. Um, if you opted into beta, is there anything else you need to do to receive beta? No, get lucky and look on your launcher. If there's Dragonflight beta on there, then you have it. And if you don't, then you don't. Uh, it's a matter of getting lucky. There's much more to the Dragon Isles beyond the Forbidden Reach. It wonders will be as new to you as they will be for the Hordes. The Hail Black Adventure. Dragonflight I shall will help you prepare protect for the this Dragon world Isles. once again. That's very rude, Abyssian. Nalina was talking to us. I'm sure your rival Orgrimmar drew the attention of his citizens. No doubt, some were more comfortable in your presence than others. When I was a young dragon, I took on the mortal visage that you now see. It allowed me to live amongst the tarn of the high mountain as an ally. Though your path differs from mine, the essence of dragonkind flows through you as well. Perhaps that will allow you to assume a visage of your own. Our legacy will be renewed. For Azeroth, I will guide you as best I can. A visage is an expression of how you wish to be seen by others. It is a personal choice you alone can make. I cool. chose my visage because I wish to live quietly among the High Mountain Tauren. Your choice will be your own. Okay. Um, this is actually taken from Folks and Fairy Tales of Azeroth, and they have said, if not already done so, that they were going to add the Chromi story to the WoW website. So for those who has not who have not read Visage Day yet, it will be up on the WoW website. I'm pretty sure I've also done a Midnight Nibbler on it. Um, in essence, dragons can choose whatever they want to look like, and some have, like an Onyxia, thought that the humans were very cool. Or uh, Caligos, who wanted to be accepted by others, and, and in essence, Chromie chooses their visage, and we get to choose ours as well. Um, oh, it is on the website right now. So if you haven't read it yet, and you're curious about it, you can. Uh, Ray, I have no I have no idea. I mean, at some point, right? And for us, we choose our visage at the beginning, um, as we do a character creation. Now... What I would find cool is, but this is too late, right? Like this was like something that I had earlier in the beta, um, that you actually go through a little ceremony in order to figure out what your visage is going to be, rather than here's your button, yeah. Here to spar. But yeah. Uh, I've been speaking with his pain blood hand. I believe that he is, what did they call it, an ogre. That's it. He's an ogre. He speaks even slower than a Zudatel, if you can believe it. Even so, he seems a capable warrior. Perhaps the Horde may yet prove worthy of our might. Let's Wisdom get back to training. Us. You have a noble visage indeed, most distinctive. I do not know why your visage is unique from that of a dragon. Perhaps when we learn more of your past, the answer will present itself. But for now, we must prepare for the journey ahead. The Black Dragonflight will protect this world once again. This one? You like this one, Victorian? Or a different one? Mm. Ah, I could use your expertise. Pleasure to meet you. I am Nalida. The Invitation Division of the Dragon Isles is quite an exciting prospect. The Reliquary has combined forces with our expeditionary counterparts to help coordinate our efforts. As a member of the Dragon Expedition, it is my honor to welcome you. 
The first must gather a few more members. Yay! Keep an eye out for anything interesting. I shall meet you at the Zeppelin once you've gathered our future expeditionary members. So that's the original starting quest to go into the Dragon Isles. I am ready. What do you need? Nalida seems enthusiastic, but she's a historian, not a soldier. She knows nothing of the dangers that we will face on the Dragon Isles. Not that the Horde needs to worry, after all. We Dark Talons will be protecting the expedition. I'm going to discuss mission logistics with Abyssian and these Horde leaders. Kodafi is exploring the city along with the others. Tell him to rally at the Zeppelin Tower. Okay. You have your orders. Yeah. And there you have it. The Drekfear starting experience. Why doesn't my visage work, though? I wonder. Hmm. Can you... Oh, no. You can't soar up from a glide. Okay. So, uh, like, my opinion about the starting experience, it's fine. It's uh, interesting enough. And like I said, it's, um, it's filling in gaps in the lore. It's adding lore where there is room for lore to be added. Um... I'm still trying to figure out. Maybe I missed that part. But if I missed it, then maybe they should make it more clear. Um, and this power, by the way, is uh, if I activate it, if I activate this, it will automatically assume my visage while in and out of combat. Um, but what I'm kind of wondering about is exactly why did they lock us away? And I remember there was some explanation at some point, but I, I don't know if that was supposed to be in the Drekfar Drekfear starting area. Um. Activate to automatically assume your visage when you leave combat or after soaring. Yeah. So you can choose if you want that. So I'm kind of wondering, like, okay, why exactly were we created by Nelfarian to then lock us away? But what we can put together from the starting experience is that once upon a time... I hadn't bought Dragonflight yet. Damn right. Once upon a time, there was a war with the Elemental Dragons. Which... The Aspects 1 never talked about. And... Uh, they locked them away. Then at some point, Nelfarian created the Dragfear as like a standing army. But the Dragfear were locked away. I need to Google this now. Hang on. Why were the Dragfear locked away? Okay, that didn't work. Dragfear, Wowpedia. <clears throat> the Dragfear, the ancient race of humanoid dragons. Yada, yada, yada. History. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't want to be uh, the bearer of bad news, but here we go. The Dragfear were created by Nelfarian. While other dragonkin were sturdy and loyal, they lacked the cleverness and adaptability needed to fight the war that Nelfarian felt was sure to come against those who defied the reign of the aspects. They would embody the might of all five dragonflights, instilled with the potential of the mortal races that had begun to spread across the world. They were to be ultimate soldiers. Nelfarian fashioned the forbidden reach as a secret training grounds for the Dragfear, but in the aftermath of a terrible battle, the island lay dormant and abandoned for ages. They were ordered to the crashes beneath the Forbidden Reach by Nelfarian, where they were then sealed away by Melagos in magical stasis and watched over by his blue dragonflight. They remained there, abandoned and forgotten. Yeah, but why? Why were they locked away? What? Huh? Were they supposed to be woken up at a later time? What the fuck? Chat, am I missing something here, chat? What's happening? They were too OP. Huh. Now, Fari needed a hybrid with draconic powers and craftiness of mortals. Malagos was scared of what a dragon with free will could do, so he had to put him in stasis. Really? Where's that from, Rafan? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Diary entry from Malagos in the Azure Archives. Oh. Uh, Azure Archives. Okay, it's still to be decided. Huh. Imagine an old god corrupted drag fear. Yeah, I'd say we spared another friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just um, looking for a reason similar to why did the Dragon Isles awaken? Dragon Isles. The Dragon Isles, ancestral home of the dragons, lush, blah, blah, blah. Raphians were looking for it. As Azeroth continued to awaken, her primal forces manifested upon the Dragon Isles. World of Warcraft expansion reveal. Okay. The beacon of Tearhold was relit, and the dragons returned to the islands. Working together, the Alliance of the Horde dispatched the expl As Azeroth continued to awaken... Okay. Huh. Why are you searching for the answer right now? Isn't it expected to be discovered as we go? Kinda researching a film before watch, uh, watching it whole? Uh, no. No, the... Um, the questions that I'm asking is why have the Dragon Isles awoken after I've gone to the Dragon Isles and they've woken up? And my question is, why were the Dragfear locked away after the Dragfear were locked away and woken up? Um, I do recognize that they've become a big fan of let's not tell our story in Shadowlands and let's keep it hidden and secret and maybe we'll reveal shit at the end. Uh, but as we've seen in Shadowlands, that does not work and does not make for good storytelling. You can make mystery and you can make stuff to speculate about. But at the same time, there's also the part where you need to explain your storyline. And unless it's going to be playing a major part in the future, I'm just curious as to why this happened. Alrighty, interesting. And yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, there's 100% going to be more information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but let's not forget that the game is supposed to tell the storyline. Right? Um, there are also cinematics that may explain as well. Yep, I remember that at some point in um, Dragon's Reach, during the Dragfear starting experience, there was like a cutscene given by Nosdormu, and that didn't play out. Now, I don't know if it was the one that we just saw, or if there's more to it. As Azeroth continued to awaken, her primal forces manifested upon Dragon Isles. I am very interested where that is from. Hang on. Event countdown, event welcome. In from our own eye. Dragons! Dragons! This is so cool. No one saw it coming. <laughs> no one saw it coming. Carefully kept secret. But seriously, I mean, what did we just see there? The awakening of the Dragon Isles, the return of dragons, the dawn of a new age. Now, we've seen Rathian searching for his father's legacy, searching for the Dragon Isles. There's a reason why he hasn't been able to find them until now. The beacon going off, is that summoning the dragons? It is removing the concealment that had hidden the Dragon Isles from the world, but also beckoning the dragons back urgently in a time of need. I assume a pretty good variety of locales within the Dragon Isles? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to that. Beacon going off, is that summoning the dragon? The dawn of a new age. Right, we've seen Rathian searching for his father's legacy, searching for the Dragon Isles. There's a reason why he hasn't been able to find them until now. The beacon going off. There's a reason he has been able to find the Dragon Isles until now, which is the beacon and, like, the cloaking device that they had over the Dragon Isles, right? That was activated back in the War of the Ancients. But then, what awoke Tony Stony Baloney? Uh, is that summoning the dragons? It is removing the concealment that had hidden the Dragon Isles from the world, but also beckoning the dragons back urgently in a time of need. I assume pretty good variety of locales within the Dragon Isles? It's yes. The Dragon Isles, as 
Kind of standard for WoW expansion consists of five zones, four standard leveling zones, and a new starter zone that we'll get to in a second. Can you talk a little bit about how the team found ways to thread the dragon aspects throughout the environments? The, the dragon isles are a place that is lush and primal, bursting with elemental energy. As Azeroth herself reawakens, those primal forces are expressed throughout the environment, whether it's magma activity, volcanic activity, there's the icy waste of the Azure span, and each one of those has a connection to a dragon flight that we've seen before. And it's gonna be an amazing place for players to arrive at and explore. All right, you know I'm gonna ask. Wait, but it has fuck all to do with why the island woke up though, right? So, okay. Um, the Dragon Isles are lush and primal place. They've been hidden away for over 10,000 years. The Dragon Isles that few have heard of or even have been to. Refion's been looking for it. Ancient home of the Dragonflights. As Azeroth continued to awaken, her primal forces manifested upon the Dragon Isles. The beacon of Tearhold was relit and the dragons returned to the islands. But this, like the entry on Wowpedia, makes it sound like because Azeroth continued to awaken, it's her primal forces that awakened the island. But that doesn't seem to be what they're saying here. Awakens. Those primal forces are. Can you talk a little bit about how the team found ways to thread the dragon aspects throughout the environments. The the dragon isles are a place that is lush and primal, bursting with elemental energy. As Azeroth herself reawakens, those primal forces are expressed throughout the environment. Whether it's magma activity, volcanic activity, whether it's the icy wastes of the Azure span, and each one of those has a connection to a dragon flight that we've seen before. And it's gonna be an amazing place for players to arrive at and explore. All right, you know I'm gonna ask. <laughs> yes, okay, can, so. Can, can, can I be a dragon? Let the Can I be a dragon? Um, so that whole elemental bits, while yes, they do describe it as Azrael's waking up, but you can find it in the lush areas, it doesn't necessarily seem to be the reason why Tony Stoney woke up, right? Um, one, do they remember what they did before being put to sleep? And are they free to choose their destiny? Uh, Sean, thank you very much for the, for the huge ass tip right there. So it's very similar to like the demon hunters. You're disoriented. You don't remember all the bits and pieces, but you wake up and you're like, yo, where's Nelfarian at? Um, what the hell's been going on? They don't know that they've been locked away for like 20,000 years. Um, they don't know a whole lot of things. And are they free to choose their destiny at the end of the starting zone? You just missed it like 10 minutes ago. Um, Nosdormu shows up and he's like, yo, destiny awaits, who's in? And a faction of them actually splits apart and they're like, nah, we're not down with your stupid dragons, we're gone. Another faction of them are like, nah, we're gonna go to the Dragon Isles, we're gonna help heal the wounded or whatever needs to happen. Um, so they most definitely have a choice as to where they want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bioessence of the world woke Tony up. Huh, did it? Okay, so uh, Dragon Isles... Oh wait, it's actually in this video that I'm looking at right now. Haha. -ha. Okay, so for those who are like, Noble, what are you doing? What's happening? I'm looking for an answer. And I'm looking to an answer for the question, what exactly woke up the Dragon Isles? Um, the way I understand it is that the Dragon Isles were always there, but when the dragons went off to fight in the War of the Ancients, they set the alarm and they hid away their home. And they told the stone giants there like stay hidden until we need to come back right but the island fell asleep for some reason and then they couldn't find their home anymore until now and my question is what exactly changed what woke up tony stoney in order for them to awaken the beacon Was it not the energy of Azeroth being sucked to the Shadowlands through the Jailer? Was it? Because if it was, I would love to see the source. Sundered. It cries out in pain. We must go to its aid. We entrust our ancestral home to you, the Watchers. So, beacon turned off. Hidden, even from our own eyes. Islands are hidden. You Very... will feel our return in the waking of the land. Very Mr. Pandaria, and they're gone. Now, they do say... You will feel our return in the waking of the land. Then, you must light the Beacon of Tearhold. Lest the path home... 
alone be lost to us forever. Is it just that they randomly found the dragon owls again? Because this, the way that she describes it, seems to be that once we dragons come back home, you will feel it in the awakening of the island. So the dragons going back home is the thing that awoke it? You've had naps like that, yeah? Like, okay, fair enough. It's the dragons coming back home. But then my question would be, why didn't they go home for 10,000 years? Because it kind of seems... Um, it kind of seems like it, it was never their intention for to wait for this long because the whole island is fucking wrecked. They're lucky that Tony Stony Baloney is still active. Because if they weren't there, nobody was there to light the beacon home again, right? Azeroth's death caused the other elements to grow in strength. Hmm. Interesting. There was some kind of rumbling before he awakens. Yeah, the way that Alexstrasza describes it is it almost seems like when the dragons return home, that's when our giants wakes up and they're like oh snap the dragons are out there i need to light the beacon but then the question would become why didn't they go home earlier to which then <laughs> if they were unable to find it i guess or maybe there was a reason why they didn't want to come back i have no clue maybe the pre-patch yeah maybe maybe like a book or something that would be kind of cool yeah maybe maybe more details are still to be revealed it's really so hard for a dragon to fly around the world and just find the island again. The Cataclysm didn't awake anything. Yeah, the Cataclysm woke up Mr. Pandaria. God, it reminded me a lot of Mr. Pandaria. Because even back then, they were very unclear as to what exactly caused Pandaria to um, be uncovered by the mists. E. The original dragons. Uh, Nosdormu, Alexstrasza, and Ysera, sort of. Mm, interesting. Uh, any clues about Azeroth awakening herself? Nah. Uh-uh. Mm, isn't WoW taking place about 15 to 20 years, which is nothing compared to 10k? Yeah. I mean, interestingly enough, the Drek Fear have actually been imprisoned for, or, or um, asleep for like 20,000 years rather than 10,000 years. So there's something before that as well. Interesting. And maybe it is very much like um, a still to be revealed kind of thing. 100%. I just, uh, we've had this question before and people were like, it's obvious, but I forgot what the obvious answer was that they've given me. Either way, the, the, the guardian here climbs the tower, activates the beacon and the dragons make a return. Yeah. In Dragonfly, you're going to come to is the Waking Shores. It's wild, untamed land. It's waking up around you too, and the elements are just going crazy. The art team again has hit it out of the park. You'll see like a lava mountain flowing in through the beach. Giant proto dragons swooping down, gobbling up members of your expedition. We have such ripe opportunities to show elementals rising up because of the crazy magic that's going around. The one thing I love is just how you get to the Dragon Isles, mm -hmm. right? So you're gonna get on your boat and storm into Arkhamar, and the first thing you do is sail between like the dragon ruined architectures. The boats come right alongside each other. You can jump from one boat to the other and just start causing havoc on the other faction's boat. For those who love PvP, this is a great opportunity for Warmoth. It's free for all out there. It's gonna be great, <laughs> but it's okay. There's an innkeeper on the beach, so that if you're in that situation, you don't want to be in Warmoth anymore, you can just hop out right there. Wait, what did he just say? What? Oh, do they mean the docks where we all land at the same place? Elementals. Right. I was about to say, DK, I'm listening, and they're talking about these two boats that are going to go side by side, but I clearly remember that the horde comes in by Zeppelin, but I mean that they, I think they mean that uh, we all land at the same spot, right? Rising up because of the crazy magic that's flying around. The one of the things I love is just how you get to the Dragon Isles, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to get on your boat in Stormwind or Arkhamar, and the first thing you do is sail between, like, the dragon ruin architectures... The boats come right alongside each other. There is no boat from Orgrimmar, right? Like, Orgrimmar comes in by Zeppelin, yes. Each other, you can jump from one boat to the other and just start causing havoc on the other faction's boat. For those who love PvP, this is a great opportunity for War Mode. It's, true. it's free for all out there. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. There's an innkeeper on the beach. So that if you're in that situation and you don't want to be in War Mode anymore, you can just hop out right there. 
the reliquary and the explorers are working together. The Horn Alliance are studying expedition together. It's not the military, it's not the soldiers. This is the scientists, the settlers exploring this new land. So it's a lot more optimistic tone. One of my favorite things about the Waking Shores is the Red Dragonfly, led by Queen Ostraza, the Life Finder. They have the mandate of nurturing and protecting all life, which means Horn Alliance, Gorlocks, trolls, everybody. So they take that duty seriously when the Horn Alliance come to the Waking Shores. They want to be there to help guide the people through the new land and welcome them. But they're not uh, the only one in the Waking Shores. We have the ancestral home of the Black Dragonfly there too, which has fallen onto Heim since Deathwing's descent. And so Rathian's coming over to the Isles with us, and he's going to try and come to terms with the state of the Dragonfly, which is a few loyal Drakonids and Dragonspawn trying to hold their ground. What can the future of the Dragonfly be if it's just Rathian? Because it's not just the dragons that are coming back to the Dragon Isles, but also their longtime rival, the Jardin. I love the Jardin so much. They're half giants that wield the power of magma, and when the Waking Shores and Dragon Isles went to slumber, they also slumbered. They're back now, and they are ready to raise chaos. Yeah, they're massive. They're riding giant lava mammoths, parading around, just stomping on your face. And they were the enemies of the Dragonfly for so long. They fought against the Red Dragonfly, hunted dragons down, and they're really taking this opportunity to rise up. As the Red Dragonfly have the mandate of nurturing life, they don't want to just stomp out the Jardin completely, but they want to make sure that they don't have the power to affect those around them negatively, to make sure they don't go on a rampage and destroy the ecosystem that's been created here. And so those are awesome things in the Waking Shores. There really is only one right answer for the best thing in Waking Shores, right? What? This is true. Ducks. And finally, have those web feet hooligans in our game. We crack the technology. We got figure it out. They yep. can fly. You should be proud. Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. The Onaran planes come right after the Waking Shores. Mm -hmm. It's so breathtaking after this The Onaran planes are big, wide open planes, and the player is going to be constricted a little bit. And then you see this big contrast of the zone. We don't always get that opportunity, that cinematic moment where the player can have a framed view when they see this area. Come out and you got that postcard shot of that. the planes, and then you see this giant fire proto dragon breathing fire, and a herd of centaur like harpoon down the yeah. proto dragon, crash into the ground. And the first thing you get to do is go help them kill the proto dragon. Like how cool is that? Who is Onara? Onara is the wild god of the wind, and she's appeared before as like this big spirit eagle. She's the one who guided the centaur to the Dragon Isles many, many years ago. She blessed them, took their caravan across, and then showed them the planes. How fun at the beginning. That is another bit. Like I, I spoke of before how they're filling in lore gaps on information um, that, you know, there's room for story to be added. The centaur need to be explained though. Because the centaur didn't exist 10,000 years ago. So where did, where did this whole centaur guiding thing come from? And I've already, I got an answer. Scenarius got freaky with Fetazane and they made the centaur way before. It was a love baby, was it? <laughs> mean of this expansion was exploring the culture of the centaur. The centaur are these mighty awesome hunters. Nelfarian hated mortal races, so it makes no sense that he made the Jack Fears. Like, he wanted to make a downgraded dragon race on purpose. Honestly, I thought about that, uh, Adian, as well. Um, but at the same time, we got to keep in mind that we don't know much about Nelfarian pre his madness with the Dwarf Ancients, right? And the Drek Fear were locked away 20,000 years ago. Who the hell knows when he made them, right? Um... So this could very well be before his whole madness, before his whole hatred of the mortal races. Um, yeah. As well as uh, the whole combination of the different colors and the different flights. That back when they first came to the Dragon Isles, they fought the Green Dragons all day long. Eventually they realized that we're strong, you're strong, maybe we should stop decimating each other's people. Um, <laughs> we'll make peace, we'll make an agreement, you guys hang out in the groves, and the Centaur will hang out in the plains. But now, the Dragons have been gone for 10,000 years. And the Centaur have come so far since then. And they've been here, and they've been existing and developing their culture. They all came over as one clan, led by the mighty Maru Kintira, and they founded a new life here. So if you want to get across, you have to follow their rules and their traditions, you have to earn their trust. You are the first outsiders to come in generations upon generations. The Centaur might rule the open plains, but the Green Dragons make their home in the groves. And those groves are absolutely gorgeous. And how great a job it is that we have where I can take all of this beautiful artwork and build these beautiful fantasy groups, high fantasy. We want to do lots of things with an open plane and we want to be creative with that. But we're restraining ourselves by letting the zone sing, letting the horizon tell the story. We certainly couldn't have done that in vanilla. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the zones are so big and you can see so far, especially in Onarin planes. So we talked to the engineers. See, that, that's, my, that's my train of thought as well, Sinner's Gate. But all I'm hoping for, all I'm asking for, is just a couple of lines in game that explains that that is actually the thing. Our dad is Scenarius. That's all I need. Our dad is Scenarius. The rest I can fill in the blanks, right? I don't need a, a gut milk storyline. But all of them are talking about, oh yeah, once upon a time we were led here by the wild god Unara. And we've been here for like 10,000 years and yada, yada, yada. None of them talk about where the fuck they came from. And I just, you know, I just, I just want Blizzard to remember where the original centaur came from and just give a little bit of explanation. It can be explained, it just needs to be explained. And we actually increase that distance. It spurs you on to want to adventure and look through the zone and explore everything. The interesting thing for me is we have all these conflicts with dragon fights. There's missing dragons, there's battles, there's so much crazy stuff happening, but that's not really all we're doing. There's so much extra fun activities for people to do. And the greatest thing is that you need to figure out exactly what's going on and help solve all the problems that are just sprouting up everywhere. We're just really excited to tell a story that's grounded in Azeroth and exploration. There's so much more to talk about, but now we're gonna have some folks talking about the next two zones that players can experience in the Dragon Isles. Hello everyone, my name is Kate. I'm Christy. I'm Kate. I'm Sean. We're going to talk today about Aldrazis and the Azure Span. Mm -hmm. So Azure Span is going to be the third zone that players adventure through, and it's one of our biggest zones that we've done in Dragonfly, maybe even to date. We knew it was going to be like the largest visual elevation change, and it really started with this great concept art. When we first were taking a look at the design, we kept coming back to one of our favorite Wrath zones, which was Grizzly Hills, mm -hmm. and we really wanted to take that, but wow, if I it more. And I don't know if you've ever been up to the Bay Area, but in the morning, that coastal fog comes in and dips down into the redwoods, and that sun shines through. That's really what we wanted to encapsulate with this forest. And not only the redwoods, we've got all different types of trees. Eventually, it'll break open into this wide open tundra that's just golden and red, and you'll reach up to another level of elevation where you can see the snow. The majority of the zone is covered in snow and ice. We have giant frozen waterfalls, ice rivers as far as the 
I can see in Sean, I know in the forest we can expect our first creatures. We have a small group that lives there called the gnolls. These gnolls are all throughout the forest in Azure Span. They've made it their home. Some gnolls are strange magic that we're gonna find out what exactly that's about. Snow gnolls, or as I call them, the snolls, uh, <laughs> up in the winter area. And then some regular gnolls are just gonna be around the all right, that's uh, that's where we're gonna end this. Uh, as I was just looking for an answer as to why exactly did the Dragon Isles open up, but let's um, unless somebody has the answer out there, um, we we we're just gonna hold off on um, it will be revealed. Let's gonna assume that. Right, everybody, uh, I'm gonna call it quits here for today. Oh, as I am. Just about to make myself a uh, no. I'm not gonna visit your best adult dating website. I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I promise. I promise, Jet. I'm not leaving you to to visit some weird ass adult dating website. Okay. Um, but lovely people, I'm gonna leave you here for today, as I'm gonna have myself a delicious meal and uh, open up a bottle of wine, probably maybe record some more of the Dragon Flight or edit. I don't know. We're gonna find out what the set is gonna bring. Uh, for me, for now. Um. I feel like you should. <laughs> for uh, the <laughs> sorry, for the content coming Monday, we're gonna be doing um, the story of the Black Dragon Flight, which is actually I'm really excited about it. Um, it's gonna be from the very start to what we know right now. It's gonna be spoiler free as preparation for Dragon Flight, uh, as well as we're gonna be doing, of course, the other Dragon Flights as well. Uh, I've got the plan of uploading what we did today, so the Drag for Starting Zone. Uh, diving into the dragon riding. Uh, I still have a couple of short videos ready to, up to, ready to roll. And uh, yeah, we're slowly but surely going to make our way to a uh, dragon fight release. So we're going to get there. So for now, I hope you had as much fun as I had with this stream. Uh, on YouTube, I still don't really know how it works. I think subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. I think that's how you follow the channel. Uh, alternatively, you could also subscribe here, of course. And just... Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, you can also find me on Twitch, Discord, Instagram. All the places that people live on the internet. And uh, hell yeah, we're going to keep up with the gym, uh, the gym grinds. Hell yeah, six days a week, baby! Bye-bye! Uh,